everybody. Today we are going to be playing Black Myth Wukong that came out like yesterday. Uh, before we fully begin, uh, the main reason why I missed out on Monday's stream and then this stream was a bit late was because family was visiting and that took up a lot of time. Uh, for the luckily for the stream at least they were uh, left a bit early today so they could rest up for their journey back home and uh, I figured you know what this looks like a cool game a lot of people are hyped for it might as well give it a shot although I did see some like weird things <laughs> like uh, first off apparently when giving the game to like review people for some reason they decided like uh to give them the these guidelines of hey don't mention these things and some of them kind of made sense like don't disparage another content creator don't use crude language and then it got weird in the don't mention political topics like feminism that's a bit odd and then it got all the way down to don't mention COVID-19 or the word quarantine. And it's just like, you could have just put out normal little guideline things. You know? <laughs> like, I get it. Like, this is a game made by a Chinese studio. So, some... Winnie the Pooh stuff is gonna seep in, because that's what that is. <laughs> and it's funny, because, like, one content creator I follow on Twitter specifically said that they're not gonna co cover Black Myth Wukong due to those guidelines, on top of the fact that apparently, when they streamed Genshin Impact years ago, apparently the VOD for their... Genshin Impact stream just vanished from their Twitch channel. And so they're just like, I don't trust Chinese games anymore. But the game still looks interesting, and I want to give it a shot. From YouTube chat, hey Neon, you're now starting playing the Monkey King game. Yep, because I just figured it'd be interesting. We'll probably pro still prioritize Breath of the Wild, because I feel like we're nearing the end of that game. Uh, unless the uh, Champion's Ballad DLC kicks in and then kicks my ass, we'll have to see. But I've heard some decent cool things about this, and I want to check it out. It's been in development for a long time, <laughs> although this uh, does remind me of yet another thing. While I was looking up, like, mini guides of, like, hey, graphics optimization for this, because I downloaded the, like, test tool to try and get a rough approximation of how I should do my graphics... To balance, hey, look good, while also run decently, you utter abomination of modern gaming. <laughs> At the end of the graphics optimization guide from one of the various sites, there was, Note, the development team of Black Myth Wukong have been criticized for potential sexism, misogyny, and fat phobia in the workplace. And I'm just like, oh, that's fun. Just... But at the same time, that pretty much just puts them on par f with a lot of other, like, big AAA gaming development companies. So, eh. Nightmare world. But, let's -a go! Let's see. Because I like my games slightly on the brighter side. But it also depends. Because a lot of games, like, have those, like, uh have different, like, philosophies in terms of, like, graphical design. So sometimes actually managing the brightness can have a big impact. But a lot of the time, uh, uh, games are mean and hide things in the dark and obscure things, and I want to see the game that I'm playing. Game science with a sperm in a box. But it'll be interesting to see how this game, like, what the story is. Because I know vaguely some stuff about Journey to the West. And, like, the Monkey King, how he was the stone monkey. 
basically a demon, then uh, went and learned the Tao, Taoism, which gave him a level of immortality. And then he went back to the monkeys, became the Monkey King. Or did he become Monkey King and then go learn the Tao? I forget. And then, like, he basically, like, pseudo-invaded heaven. They're like, hey, this guy's scary. Give him a job. Became immortal five billion more times. Then had a war with heaven. And then the Buddha had to come in and be like, I am one with the universe. Drops a giant mountain on him. We have gone through like five loading bar thingies at the... So I'm just... What the hell? The game crashed, I think. That was weird. Maybe it heard me talking bad about Winnie the Pooh and then decided, fuck you. I was describing culture of the Monkey King. But back to that while we wait for this to jump back on and see what happened. Because funnily, the test tool didn't break. Although the test, like, one thing about modern gaming that I have come to be very annoyed by is super resolution things. Like, I do not care about, like, super resolution. Just give me basic, like, resolution things. I do not care about DLSS. I do not care about these various little shenanigan things. I just want that resolution. Extra funny is while I was looking up like, hey, uh, graphics optimizations to use on the tool, the, t the graphic test tool... I did see a, like, a ba ba da ba, uh, an article that was like, how to fix the black screen problem in Black Myth Wukong. And here I thought because the beginning of, like, here, like, language and subtitles and stuff, I figured, oh, it's good. Now, nah, apparently you have to, <laughs> ah, there we go. And it is very laggy because... We live in modern era. Hello, Sun Wukong. Uh, get out of here for a moment. I have to fix it all. First things first. Get down to a good resolution. Like, I know I use a 4K monitor. I Come on, game. I hit that. But I do not like... <laughs> My computer is not strong enough. For that. Now, first things first. Put that to DLSS. Put that up to, like, uh, 85. All right. View distance. I think medium was fine. Medium, medium. I put that at high. Boop. That high. Boop. 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 And reflections can be gone. And I do believe that these are the settings I used in the test. That, like, at least were decent. Hello, Sung Wukong. Although now I'm interested. What will happen if I set the hair quality to very high? Will I notice the difference? I don't really notice the difference, and plus, like... Most of the game is probably going to be from a distance anyway, so don't need that super duper quality. I like the design of his armor. It was nice. Also, kind of cute new journey, quit journey. That's a nice touch. Let's a go! New journey. Wake up, stone monkey. 
Now, I've heard this be compared to both Dark Souls and God of War, I presume, uh, P PlayStation 4. Kind of has, um, what's the term? Like the hair things. Oh. Hello, giant demon. Demons. Might have to do more settings diving. But then again, who knows? Are we just going to be thrown in? Then again, th those things are huge. Those guys. And the audio's cutting out for me. It's funny because those, like, smaller guys I could see being, like, heavenly warriors, but that big guy looks very demon-esque. But then again, what do I know? We are now... Uh, maybe this is me fighting the armies of heaven. I have heard that this is quite the demanding game. What does that even mean? <laughs> ah, I guess this is still Tripitaka being on his journey. I think the Heavenly Court is kind of dumb if they aren't leading with Buddha. Because he's the only one that can stop him. <laughs> Stock done sound effect? <laughs> That's a cool dog. So the Heavenly Court killed the monkeys of his island? I presume. How dare you call the dog stupid? He's a good boy. Well, definitely need to do some graphics diving. I would try and pause to affect graphics, but I don't know if that would just skip the cutscene. That doesn't feel like a deal at all. So there is no choice but to fight and win. Considering he mentioned the scriptures, what wrongs? He was freed from the mountain under Buddha's orders, basically.
I feel sorry for the people that don't know much about Journey of the West. All right, now I can presumably go and change the, the stuff finally safely without skipping out on things. I can only assume that the audio broke at times when the graphics rendering was going off the hook. And it was just like, no, get you bad too much. So let's see. Probably hit that down to medium. Air quality. Since we'll be looking at Monkey King for a long time, keep that there. Set that to low, maybe, and see how bad it is. Doot. Let's see. Erlang the Sacred Divinity. Wait, I do wonder where in the timeline this all is. Interesting. Oh, spell, I guess. Because the main problem is, like, graphics have gotten definitely just too, like, confusing because, like, I don't care about the super resolution. Just make me, let me deal with, like, uh, set that to low, maybe. And then hair quality medium and C. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> I do think, though, it's still a little... I do think the, like, ba-ba-ba... Hmm, one second. Just have to manage the graphics testing. This is why you, like, I don't know. If you're going to have a big old, big old... Super graphics production, you really need to begin your game in a way that allows players to actually come to grips with real environment, like, gameplay. Or else, like, you run into this big cutscene with lots of things into boss fight, and that all has to be ruined by graphics management because you motherfuckers couldn't be bothered to optimize your game. Like, I do not have a bad rig. I feel sorry for the people who have just modest con things. Oh, and I, another thing I almost forgot. Funny that they don't let you pause if you're, like, in the middle of a thing. Kind of interesting. Oh, it's not here. It's in display. I could have sworn that I hit V-Sync. Also noticing that. <laughs> All right, here's my honest opinion. The dumb problem is the super realistic graphics visuals with too much visual data and unnecessary details. For me, I don't mind, like, detail. It, it Like, personally, I do think it's mostly unoptimized things. But I do think that super-duper realism is partly an issue. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> and again, like... Trying to come to grips with the gameplay. Wild graphicking everything. Especially because I did use the settings. He was like immortal before meeting the Buddha. Have to come to grips with, like, the dodge system. Oh. Interesting. Well, he is the stone monkey. I made clones of myself. Come help me, clones. Clones. 
Beat him up. <laughs> Monkey gang. Also getting used to, like, the... Dodging. It's very specific. Like, there's... You can only dodge in certain circumstances, it feels like. Get smacked. And again, like, just not a good place to begin the game visually. Kind of hard to come to grips with, like, the flow of gameplay. Didn't even take it. Ah, spell time. Hmm, so I'm guessing that was for all the... Like, diddly -dees. Like, I don't know what that button is. Take this. Get smacked. Get smacked. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> Luckily, we have no health bar to actually lose against this guy. Because, like, uh, trying to look through the visual clutter for when I should dodge is hard. He's immortal. You tried to execute him at the beginning of Journey to the West. How are you going to execute him now? Get smacked. Like, the combat is definitely interesting. It's just hard to come to grips with. Nice animation. <laughs> the poles are fighting on their own. At least that explains why nobody else is really getting involved. Because <laughs> the big ones are already fighting. Oh, now they're angry. <laughs> I use that spell in the combat. And that's going to destroy your isle or mountain anyway. Well, he lived up to that promise. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you have dishonored the duel... I do like, because I think this is kind of referencing, like, the initial battle of Wukong versus the uh, Heavenly Court. Well, what hit you? I didn't see anything hit you. Oh, that's coming back. Is Tripitaka betrayed you? Because the that's referencing the... Golden crown that was given to Tripitaka by, like, a goddess. And then if he said a prayer, 
it would shrink upon his skull, causing immense pain. And yet the sound definitely dies when uh, affected by graphics. So you yeah, definitely understand why a ton of people would be confused. So did he get, cause that's like the stone egg, like, or like the stone, I guess that breaks open, reveals a stone egg, which becomes a stone monkey. So is this monkey king two electric boogaloo? Here he said that he wa they wiped out his stone monkey kind. Interesting. So we're going to be playing a stone monkey that's not the stone monkey, I guess. to fight <laughs> the heavenly court uh, for like a third time. An interesting introduction, but hampered by the fact that they didn't give the player a real game experience, like, graphic test. The benchmark tool they gave out is useless, I swear. Home is behind. The old monkey has told his tale. Onward you must go. Chapter 1, Black Cloud, Red Fire. And again, I can definitely see people who don't know anything about the Journey to the West being completely lost. Because even I, knowing some things about Journey to the West, was confused with that introduction. So this is after the Journey to the West is over. Tripitaka was successfully protected. The scriptures were delivered to the West. And... Uh, Monkey King was ga uh, was uh, given true enlightenment by Buddha. But he was just like, I still want to live among the monkeys. And I guess the heavenly court being the heavenly court is like, eh, we're going to kill all the monkeys and destroy your mountain. And then, like, the real question is, where did the crown come from? Because, again... I believe the Golden Lotus Lady is the one that gave Tripitaka the, the crown to give to Wukong so that he could say a prayer to keep Wukong in line during the early parts of the journey when he was reckless and like, I don't need to listen to you. Mango. From YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Hello. We are trying out Black Myth Wukong and running into <laughs> graphic issues.
and the sound <laughs> is breaking out because of the graphics issues. So I have to, yeah. Constantly having to manage the graphics because they had to go and just not give a good benchmark tool. Which is just highly bothersome to me. Like, why couldn't they give a benchmark tool that gave us real things? I set settings that were much higher than all of this in the benchmark tool and got regularly decent frame rates. But ah, uh, low, not real world. Here's an interesting thought. What about a battle between Sun Wukong and Sun Goku? It's difficult because Sun Wukong is like genuinely immortal. In, like, a m many different ways. Still wonder what this button is. I walk up to you. Eh. Eh. <laughs> the dodging is a little funky. We'll have to see how it goes. Who are we? And who are two is talking? Will Willow, uh, Willow Wood Staff, Tiger Hide Loincloth, Old Gourd. I guess that's just the Old Gourd button. Journal. Portraits, the Lesser Yao Guai. Wolf Scout and Wolf Sworn Sword. This is some nice art. But yeah, they definitely should have, like, in the benchmark tool, actually given the player a good benchmark of, like, what the actual game will be. Because, God damn you, actually optimize your game. And I totally missed. Using the heavy attack is a little odd. It's almost like the game wants you to hold it and then release it for it to properly work. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Still doesn't want me to go that way. But yeah, the optimization feels a bit clunky. But onward we go. Also, it doesn't help that the audio is glitching out. Presumably also due to the graphics issues. When it tries to load a lot, it freaks out. <laughs> Hold to charge up and build focus. Hold to charge. Charging costs stamina, but quickly builds up focus. I don't know who you are, and I killed you in one hit. Someone just showed up after all. It is me. And what did we get? Tiny piece of gold and a stone spirit. Hello there. Goodbye. But yeah, like, the beginning to the story is interesting, but definitely going to confuse people not familiar with Journey to the West. The graphics problems is annoying. The audio issues are annoying. And the gameplay so far is decent, decent. Need to come to grips with it a bit more. And who are you? Interesting, we turned our hair into an incense, I think.
Hello, weird spirit man. You're gonna be <laughs> Wukong remade. With all these skulls. And then there was another fire. <laughs> More Yao Guai? I don't even know who you are, old man. Incense talisman, special item. But I guess quickly jumping back to... Like, uh... Son Goku versus Son Wukong. <laughs> Charge attack OP! <laughs> I don't even need to play the game! I probably should, though. But, yeah, I just like, uh... I guess technically... Goku probably has better overall scaling. But, uh, Wukong is a, a very strange beast. <laughs> Charged attack breaks everything. Alright, you, I'll try and fight you normal like. So, yeah, right now it doesn't feel like I have any. Like, combos that utilize heavy attack. Because if I try, yeah, it, like, goes into the charging stance. So it's only, like, really worthwhile to, like, retreat, hold down, heavy attack, and smack a bitch. Also, apparently this game, like, has no map, from what I hear. Which is kind of hilarious. Where did I come from? Because I don't think I came from here. Oh, wait, no, it's just like that big uh, archway. Made it feel different. <laughs> Made it feel like an entrance to a big old place. Ah, using this talent shall immediately free the soul from the body and guide it back to the keeper shrine. Interesting. And these are just materials, so nobody cares. Ingredients, nobody cares. Well, let's see. Because right now that should be good. Because I do want to. Like, the main thing is, like, I can't even really trust, like, oh, I can uh, move the graphics around and then in these normal little bits of gameplay, oh, it's fine. Boss fight happens, all the graphics are around, and everything will die, probably. Hello, Crow. I probably made a mistake trying to challenge you. Yeah, the dodging in this game is just, like, not like other games. Which I do worry could be, I'm not like other games. We're not a Souls-like. Yeah, dodging just feels weird to use. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just like charged attack spam feels more rewarding than actually engaging with the dodging combat. 
Because there's like, it feels like it's a weird delay in movement to the dodging. Like, I don't know. And what are you, mystical spirit thing? Just will. Yeah, because this is the the river that they had in the, like, uh, benchmark. And it honestly still feels like I'm getting worse performance than in the benchmark. Heavy attack. <laughs> ah, you explode like a bitch. I'll definitely need to, like, keep, like, an idea of where I am in my head at all times. Because no map, it seems like. So it's just like, it is interesting, like the kind of openness without, oh, oh you're a monkey? I was wondering why I couldn't just run up on you and smack you with my stick. What did I gather? Skanda form? What is that game? What's a Skanda form? Man shrinks at odor, but smiles at beauty, which is only natural. Once hidden inside the Buddha's head, this treasure has a secret yet to be revealed. How helpful. And the main thing is, like, I don't really have any traversal options, so... Oh, that's the game telling me, probably, hey, you're at a cliff, idiot. And I have a heavy attack. Is that gonna be your king? He's at least a mini-boss. Also, I, I gotta say, the run button being up there, the right bumper, a little bothersome to me. Also realizing that uh, the recording might be less good, like, uh, potentially, than my actual view. If my, because I just glanced over at the preview of OBS, so this could be one of those Baba Buzz. Also, another thing, I think I've had the audio, like, it didn't help that the audio was breaking in the game. Yeah, the audio input is also seems to potentially be broken. See, up oh, there we go, fixed it. Everything's going wrong on this stream. Wonderful day. Bleg. So it is just like, so yeah, hmm. It is very bothersome, this game. Because, <laughs> like, it's extra funny. Because, like... On my screen, like, actually playing the game, it's all smooth and nice. Then, like, sometimes on the, like, uh, preview of OBS, it looks, like, a little jittery. And then, like, in the, uh, like, stream that's actually up, like, on Twitch, it seems to be very laggy. So I think this is just a cursed, cursed game. So let's go into settings and really turn things down to try and equalize things. Just like all the way down for some things. And see if that helps. <laughs> what? 
But yeah, overall so far, a very mixed experience trying to get it to work. So let's go in. Charged attack. <laughs> Who needs to play game when I have charged attack? Bosses are gonna annihilate me, I think. I probably can't jump down there. So it'll be interesting, like, ha further in, how things go. Like, more than likely, I need to, like, unlock abilities and things. But just, like, very interesting. Story's a little whack. Gameplay's a little whack. The setting's very whack. It's interactions with my streams. Also whack. It'll be interesting to see... Like, uh, if, like, my recordings will also be a little jank at the beginning, especially because the audio got blasted. It's a little annoying. You can't trust the default audio settings. Then again, this is also kind of what happens, I guess, if I play, like, console for a long time just to come back to PC. But yeah, this guy's a boss. He's probably gonna kick my ass. We're gonna probably do ch tons of charging, I'm gonna guess. Ah, uh, you dodged my attack by attacking. Illegal. Yeah, have not gotten used to the dodging yet. Like at all. And that tra that attack seems to track. Very fun. Yeah, the dodging is a little funky still, just not used to it. Not used to it at all. Spells. In spells there are wonders and magic so grand. Foes vanquished and lives saved in the palm of your hand. When challenges arise, let thy mind expand. From brute something, I couldn't finish it. They put a whole diddly d in there. Do I have incense to offer? Fully restores conditions, replenishes your gourd, enemies also respawn. Travel instantly to any keeper shrines. That's good to know. But I'm going to guess I lost like all my will? Maybe. What's self advance? Unawakened. Guess that makes sense. But we shall go along. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that enemy. I'm coming towards you to smack you with my stick. Because actually playing the game is lame. Unless you're a boss, of which I have no choice but to respect. When it comes to normal enemies, I can just beat you up. Bad luck. Your face looks... Well, yeah, I killed you, and then I died, and then you came back to life. Which I guess kind of makes sense. You're, like, I guess a demon. I guess I'll one round just kill all the demons each time, because why not? While trying to find, I guess, things to gather. But yeah, this has been a funky first experience. At least it has the quick change. No. No taking. Now I shall move along. I wonder what will is. It seems to be separate from earning sparks. So we'll have to learn later. Interesting that all these wolves are apparently following this guy. 
So I wonder if the thing, if I dropped anything upon death. Because I have no spells. Get smacked as I try to learn. Get smacked, full guard. Yeah, the dodging just feels slightly off. Oh, you can do that too? Or is this a cutscene? Okay, it's a cutscene. <laughs> I was just like, oh yeah, I'm beating him. My second time's going great. Immediately got smacked against him. Hello, old man. Give me your power. It's been a while. But the immobilized spell still works like a charm. But I still find it hilarious that, like, when there was actual audio Since problems on my end Huagro, in the stream, there was also audio problems true. for the game. So uh, now, even when my you, chat said, oh, what's with the audio? I thought they were saying something different. I thought they meant, ah, the audio that's happening on screen and is wonky. Nope, it was my stream. Because this is a cursed stream. Immobilize. A simple hand gesture that can bind an enemy in place. Which I will probably be making use there of, depending go. on how much I can spam Should it. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. That guy's been in place for a few short, few short moments. moments. He's been like that forever. Oh, it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young boys these days <laughs> I would have laughed if that came down on him. Teach him a lesson with your new like, genuinely, if he just got smacked, that would have been absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna charge this up and smack you. Okay, so there's just a cooldown on that and some mana. And oh yeah, the camera's gonna be the death of me. More sparks for me. But yeah, I'm just gonna say it, this game, like so far gameplay-wise, it's perfectly fine. But good God, they definitely needed to alter their graphic like direction because like the graphics are fine like are pretty pretty good at maxed out but either they're horribly unoptimized or just unrealistic for the average player open self-advance to awaken talents level up to gain sparks and awaken more abilities and spells sparks will not be lost upon resurrection that's neat to know Staff stances. Acquire new stances, refine mastery, and focus better. Versus foundation. Enhances your vigor, solidify your foundation, and strengthen your flexibility. And then mysticism. Versatile and genius mysticism is enabling maximum adaptability. Let's see. Because I have three sparks. And they get, like, uh, the big ones cost two. That's good to know. Apparently that's just... Okay, and then there are ones over here that are like, oh yeah, one, one, fifteen. Oh no, need level fifteen, uh, but uh, cost one. Okay, good, because that would have been hilarious. It's just like one, two. You need forty-five sparks for this. Because I was gonna say, what are the level sixty? Wrathful might. Each talent level moderately increases critical hit. Increases four bane's resistance. Each talent level moderately increases maximum health. So I, that's just like, I guess, well, I guess not infinite. There are little dots next to it. Moderate stamina. So I've yet to really play the game, so I'm not sure. Each talent significantly increases the engage distance of light attack starter. Moving forward will initiate some mobile spin. The destined one spins his staff around his body, deflecting projectiles. So that is what that was. And 
and then I can initiate heavy attack from that. Each taunt moderately reduces the stamina cost of dodging. In, uh, reduces the stamina cost of sprinting. I haven't really been using my sprinting all that much. Dodge more agile. No longer interrupts light attack combo. That's pretty cool. Massively reduces stamina cost of jumping. Unless jumping becomes very important for combat, doubt. Hmm, when health is above half, increases that. Neat. Focus gain from perfect dodges. Damage reduction after a perfect dodge. Leave an illusion in your wake, which explodes instantly, dealing damage. Very interesting. What about staff stances? There's the smash stance. The pillar stance. Ah, yes, my favorite. Be on the pillar. <laughs> Can you just infinitely grow the pillar? Is that how... <laughs> That'd be hilarious. There's got to be some, like, exploration to growing the pillar like that. The thrust stance. One can launch sweeping counterattack while evading ground attacks of this technique combining offense or defensive. So it seems more like... Perform heavy attack during light combo. Focus point consumed. Ah, okay. So there's a focus point things. That's pretty cool. But So this is basically just the already one I have. So I should focus on that. Health recovery upon consuming a focus point. So that's kind of a part of combat. To go through, like, gain focus and then use focus in, like, a gameplay loop. That's cool. Increase the maximum focus points from one to two, but we need to spend points for that. What about mysticism? Increases damage dealt to immobilized enemies. With a light attack, it slightly extends the duration of the next immobilization inflicted on them. That's kind of cool, but could be neat, uh, like niche. Hmm. Heavy attack during will f uh, focus point consumed allows the destined one to execute resolute strike. Hmm. Performing heavy attack during light attack combo with a focus point consumed. So does that mean that if I use like the d resolute strike? Will that use the focus point, or is there a way to use a focus point in combat that after consuming a focus point, you then can do it? The wording is weird to me. But I guess we'll get that first. We can just get both stamina reductions if we wanted to. Engage distance, don't really care. That right now, I don't really care. Health, maybe. I guess I'll get that because that could be helpful. Then I'll come over here and uh, get a bit more health. So yeah, overall, very interesting. But, hello, rabbit. Yeah, I think, like, uh, technical issues are going to bite this game in the ass in the long run. Too much focus on fidelity over... Over just being good. Because, yeah, I think the bottom right there... Like, if I gain focus, that gets a focus point down there. That little bobble, maybe. When you're down, there'll be no more toil on patrol. But yeah, trying to use a heavy attack, like, uh, without a focus point there. Butchers the flow. There is no light attack into heavy attack right now. Is there anything to do with you, big statue? Alright, there's a bunch of enemies down there. I guess I'll come down and meet you. Oh, you're a toad. I need to... Oh, you didn't die. 
I dodge away now. Because you, you will not poison me today, Toad Man. Any topics you want to chat about? I'm trying to think. Uh, it's mostly like about this game because it's brand new. Like, it's interesting, like, why this game got so much, like, press and, like, attention on it and people going, oh my god, it looks so cool. But then when it's actually in my hands, it's just like, yeah, it's fine. Graphically, it looks nice, but uh, the stable disability is shit. Like, uh, the dodging feels wonky, try probably because the game is trying to be like, I'm not like those other roguelikes. My dodge is slightly weird. Or it could be that I'm just not used to this game's dodge. Like, I don't know. But yeah, the, so far, the, like, the, the weird story opening... Which, like, if you do not know Journey to the West, you are screwed. And then the graphics. They look nice, but th the stability. The stability is, uh, uh, I would say, far more important and uh, has been left to die. If I just walk up on you, will you notice me? You will. Your face looks familiar. I have heard that voice line once before already. Your face is familiar. And your face is too, because you're an NPC. Alright, uh, Destroyed Civilization or Rocky Path? I guess I can at least check out the Destroyed Civilization. There's a bell. Give me all the will for destroying pots. I am now Link. Link Monkey King. Here's like a, a bell. That bell is fucking gone! <laughs> so yeah, definitely not a jump off point, I don't think. Well, then again, maybe. We can meditate here. Like, I don't know, just like playing this almost just makes me want to go play Sekiro. But as for other topics, I don't know. I wonder what this meditation's even gonna do. But I guess a uh, celebration of like, considering that uh, Sun Mukong versus Goku, some light celebration, happy for death battle because. They've had a Kickstarter going on since they went independent, and it's been going well. What even was that? Game? I guess we've... Free Spark! Uh, looking upon destroyed civilization, I guess. But, yeah, just huzzah for good old death battle for having things be uh, decently, decently for them. I guess we'll get the makes initial dodge more agile and flexible, whatever the hell that means. We could also discuss, like, uh, other FromSoft games, like Sekiro, Dark Souls. I need to play Bloodborne Elden Ring. I do kind of... The fuck? <laughs> there was... <laughs> Boom! Oh... It reloads. And boom! <laughs> it resets. And boom! Like, I get it. This is a cave. But, my dude, <laughs> I have not encountered that drastic <laughs> of a lighting shift. Boom! <laughs> I'm sorry, my dude. Like, maybe that's because I had to alter my graphic settings uh, ridiculously 
But uh, if you don't want people to do that, optimize your fucking graphics. And now we're just back to normal. <laughs> we're now we're just back to fucking normal graphics. I walk through an archway. Boom. It is now demon night time. <laughs> Boom. What the hell? This it, it, it's treating this like this is a cave. And I guess technically it is a cave, but not really. <laughs> It's an overhang ish. But then I come over here and it's like, oh, back to. I don't know. It feels. I feel like they could have transitioned that a, a wee bit more subtly. <laughs> what? Reallocate the sparks from awakened talents. That is cool. So that basically means if you want to play around with things, you can. And then we can set spells. We only have one spell. That's nice to know. But, oh, there's a store? I want to look at that. Hey, wait. You don't think you can just parade in, do you? I am the chosen it's not one. That simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada. Don't so do that. I want the fires ahead. Don't do that. I want to check out the store. Unnoticed. <laughs> All right, I'm a golden cicada now. Also, ha ha ha, golden it cicada, be because it that's what Tripitaka once was. Or like that's what his name was. He was a monk called Golden Cicada, and that's why uh, after he died, he was re reincarnated into who would eventually become Tripitaka. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The Cicada form may help you explore, but I wanna... be wary. This form does not last forever. Ah, the Should stamina. You yourself lost. <laughs> Just you've done some my voice. Mm, wonder if there's anything you left know. inside. So, uh, can I, like, use this whenever? I'm interested. The, uh... What's the word for that graphic thingy? Um, or graphic setting. Ambient occlusion, I think? It seems to be in, like, full effect. Just making it incredibly hard to see. <laughs> Ah, I wonder what accessibility is. Subtitles, <laughs> color blind mode, and motion blur. That's funny. <laughs> from YouTube chat. Here's an interesting topic. Which of the four elemental bending from the world of Avatar would you choose? Fire, air, water, or earth? I need to watch Avatar. I really, really need to. I've heard good things. Yeah, this is very interesting. I do also have to say, uh, after playing a, what's it called, uh, Breath of the Wild, so many invisible walls bothers me. Okay, but I'm interested. Can I just smack him? Evil repelling medicine, immobilize, interesting. Because they just kind of thrust that on me and I'm not sure exactly what to do with it. But as for like the avatar elements, I genuinely don't know. Like, uh... When it comes to like... Let's see if... Increases damage reduction for a long duration. Burn resistance, poison resistance, and will is just money. And I can sell. Apparently, tiny piece of gold. A tiny piece of gold, Georgian indiscernible. It looks like a piece of a face. Perhaps some trade could be done with it at the Keeper Shrine. 
All right, since that's what you're saying is why I should do with it. Then you can buy diddly dees, but considerably increases damage reduction. Are you kidding? I'll buy two. Very interesting. Then we can travel. But yeah, just a little disappointing and uh, uh, apparently uh, buying from the store was the worst idea I could ever done because now everything is going crazy. <laughs> the game looked at me and said, how dare you <laughs> buy from the store? But the main thing with like avatar elements is just like, I don't know which one would benefit me the most in my day-to-day -day life. Like, uh... Firebending maybe could help me cook and could be as self-defense. Earthbending would be the most powerful. But that would also be a lot of, uh... Like, uh, collateral damage. Unless I just built my own house. Airbending, like, could also be pretty powerful. But then again, the question of, like, uh... Overall, what use? Is it to just a normal person? Water bending, I guess, is... Like, actually, all the bending styles are very powerful. It's, just, it's more just, like, your preference. <laughs> the end of your attack barely hit me. that you're a big heavy hitter guy. <laughs> but the game is continuing to just tell me that heavy attacks are the way to go against normal enemies. Like, I'm not sure if I really dig the combat all that much. The combat is fine, but I just feel like... Uh, it feels like video game combat. Like, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but it's just like play new game, conversation topics. I'll jump back to the gameplay in one second, but yeah, for like avatar bending, I just, I don't know which one I think I would prefer above any other. It also depend on me like uh, watching avatar. I need to watch avatar and then maybe that would help me decide on top of the fact of like, Oh. Mean. You freak. Alright. Extra rude. You seem to be a bastardine enemy. Okay, wait out your attacks and then you'll die. You are, I don't even know what you are, a Mandragora. But yeah, when it comes to just everyday life, I genuinely don't know what bending style would be the most beneficial to me, an everyday person. Aged Ginseng. Okay, I guess if... Some things are just like a material monster. You're a material monster. What's that? You want a material? Fight a monster. Gotcha, game. Oh. Oh! Double O. I'm gonna come fight you, you bastard. You dare shoot me from bridge? But if I just dodged, they never s saw this coming. Get smacked. And then I fell off a cliff. But yeah, overall, I just haven't watched enough of uh, Avatar to really place, like, either my more preferenced bending power... Or how useful each bending power would be to just a normal person. 
compared to, like, combat. It's kind of like the, which would you like, the power to create food or the Kamehameha? Nobody needs the Kamehameha. You are not fighting Frieza. You are not a dirty monkey. But I guess to quickly touch upon my thoughts for the gameplay, I guess... Uh, it feels very video gamey. I think is the best way to put it. Heavy attacks, light attacks, there's dodges. It's all functional, but I got no no. Did you something about it? Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck are you? Big headed big man? What is the big headed big man doing here? <laughs> What are you? Like, it'll depend. Maybe the deeper we get in, the more unique it'll get. But, like, the immediate fact that you cannot tie together heavy attacks and light attacks in a combo without using a focus point and an upgrade just feels uh, kind of wonky right now. It just feels a little wonky. Also, no map, which uh, is a choice. But yeah, this feels very video game. So I guess this is like fine. So far I would give this Who goes there? How dare you interrupt my meditation? Uh, I will come back to you later. Because I am not done wandering around like a buffoon. This is kind of where the big head man was. I think. I think he's like right around this rock. Yeah, there he is. It's like, I don't know. Maybe this is like... Eh, 7 out of 10 so far. Mostly because there's like... Like, graphics issues. Kind of stock gameplay without much... Like, uh... Super personality just yet. Get more focus when the second move of the light attack combo hits. After sprinting, success, six successful hits. Grant significant damage reduction during light attack finisher versus the staff spin. Heavy attack during mobile spin to quickly engage and stagger. So martial arts doesn't really seem all that interesting to me. Staff stances, however, might be interesting. Oh, we got pillar stance already. Switching to pillar stance to support himself with his in ascent to the top by holding heavy, avoiding any ground attacks. The more focus points he builds, the higher he perches. Hmm. Interesting, but not all that much that I'd want to, like, put into. All things considered. Each town and damage reduction upon a charged heavy attack. This will hit that and hit that as well. And then that automatically awakens, which is extra cool. Level design also feels a little funky. Like, I don't know how to really explain it. Report to Lord Lingshi quickly. Die. Like, I guess the level design feels like forest and river. Uh, you're probably gonna kick my ass, aren't you? 
Well, if you do a lot of damage, I guess I can just immobilize you. Okay, plan. I will wait for him to come stumbling my way again. And then I'll come up behind him and smack him, even though he'll probably hear me coming and turn around the moment I step into his arena uh, within, like, five feet of him. Uh, well, Neon, do you know a character from Avatar called Toph? Toph is awesome. I know that- I know of her. She's a really cool character. Lots of cool jokes. Inventor of metal bending, I believe. Get smacked, big man! Okay, I got a focus point. Okay, <laughs> not really telegraphed all that much. The camera kind of sucks. I don't know what it is an attack and what isn't. So I guess you could put that under, uh, kind of poor design. Yeah, I think that's another thing I might take some points away from the game is, like, uh, not much telegraphing for, like, the average player. Sure, this is probably about a lot of, uh, ooh, go in, die, and learn, but would still be nice if it was a bit more just like, uh, just like it would be nice to know more about, just like, ah, I can see this attack coming. That would be nice. Like, that's just, like, the one thing that I'd like to be able to see attacks coming from a common sense point of view. Would be nice. Maybe we'll go fight the presumably more fiery guy. Instead. He might be easier to dodge than Evil Monk Man 53. Oh, okay. Interesting. Also, you did not do that before. But running, like, activates things. Like, kind of neat. But I was not expecting that. Is that how we're supposed to, like, traverse places? Maybe. I don't know. Interesting. The Ginseng monster is still gone. That's good to know. This is patrol, and you will die. And then there's also this way that I forgot to go. At least I think I did. Uh, it's another crow guy. I think this guy's gonna try and kill me. Because I think he's a crow guy. Rude. I do think that the heavy attack is pretty slow unless, like, you're the one coming up on him. At least the heavy attack, like, tracks a lot. That is at least nice. If the heavy attack did not track, that would just be very rude. Uh, is there anything behind here? No treasure behind a waterfall? Sin. Maximum sin. No Buddha for you. Although I will say it is very satisfying to unleash a heavy attack upon an unsuspecting fool. Very tasty. Oh, 
uh, one issue does arise of things leaking, uh, linking back onto themselves. Make me wonder, did I miss a thing? Or is this just looping game, like level design? <laughs> oh, so you know what metal bending is. I've never watched Avatar, but I've had like a lot of like moments revealed to me. Well, hello, my dude. I guess I'll fight you. You look more like a traditional boss man than Big Head Monk. Hmm, another monkey, I see. Why don't you lay down your weapon and Wong join Ji. me in good Or mercy. I presume that's how you pronounce that. What say you? These are Chinese names. It would be nice to, like, uh, if attacks, like, readily evade, like, reveal themselves. Because I swear, some attacks just, like, aren't immediately obvious. Oh, that's rude. I was looking at my things. Game, do, thing. Yeah, he's like, I do not know when an enemy's combo ends or not. Very rude game. And just would be nice if you would like hey is this an attack that will hit me and again the, I think like it, that's it the enemy like attacks at, like window of attacks and windows of dodging how was I supposed to know he was going to charge right then god I, I hate that gotta say Because, like, it doesn't feel like you should be able to, like, spam dodge. But then they don't design the game to telegraph when an enemy is attacking. <laughs> it feels bad. So you almost have to spam dodge. Because you don't know when an enemy is actually going to attack you. Dang it! I hate you! Yeah, because I think the things are... Like, you can't dodge during a combo. Kind of annoying. Enemy attacks, not really telegraphed in a lot of situations. Like, tells. Knowing when an enemy is attacking would be nice to know, game. So yeah, I just like, so far, don't really know why this is the super duper hyped game beyond graphics and maybe the, like, transformation mechanic that we've yet to get to, really. It's just like, poorly optimized. Like, very video gamey. Kind of edging into the territory of the infinite live system will make up for our poor design choices. Of like, oh, the boss, he's just right over there. And you have infinite lives and hardly lose anything. Why are you complaining? Because losing feels bad. Now let's see if this guy does the same thing of just... Well, let's approach slowly. Okay, no, just for some reason, that one time, <laughs> he decides to only shoot one at a time. Interesting. Very, very interesting that that guy, like, decided to, like, be very kind initially. <laughs>
which I still don't entirely get. Why was he so nice to me? You should definitely go watching the show Avatar of the Last Airbender. Definitely should. And then I also want to give The Legend of Korra a shot. Annoying that you can hit me during my my attacks. Get also, kind of interesting. It doesn't feel like like stamina is all that important. I hate that move. I'll have you know. Get smacked. Again, just like no telegraphing of like exactly when it hurts the soul. It's like he begins moving, dodge, like crazy. Like, it, there is something to be said that, like, if you learn the combat, it'll probably be very satisfying, but... Oh, pick the fuck off. Completely changing the last hit that looks like all the other hits game. Ever so slightly annoying. Again, no tells on that initial... Diddly deep. Fuck. Don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, just like, I don't know what to dodge. What's leading up to a thing that I should fear or not? Basically, it feels like it devolves into dodge spam. Okay, I think they made up for that slightly like, uh, the, like, uh, Baba da Ba. That, like, charge attack he does? You must have spoke of you. Did he? Destined one. I shall pick this up now. Can I use it, or, uh, will I just be able to transform into you now? I just put that behind my ear. Ah, it's a spell, Red Tides. As the feral flurry intensifies with each fierce thrust, the flames do rise. Transform into a wolf guai and inflict Scorch Bane on the enemy with each attack. All right, new spell. Neat. Kind of sad that transformation isn't like a full-on playable playable thing. Weapons and valuables cherished by Yao Guais often carry lingering obsessions from their deceased owners, collecting them grants the ability to briefly take on their forms in combat. Each transformation has its own strengths, making them worth experimenting with. Transformations continuously consume might and require full gauge to initiate. Using spells during a transformation further depletes might, and once it's fully depleted, detransformation occurs automatically. Subsequently, might will gradually recover. Interesting. But yeah, that, like, charge attack that guy did seems to be in a, like, direct line for the most part, but didn't feel like it, uh, was, like, all that telegraphed. At least to me. So I think that's going to be a recurring thing where... They're not really going to help the player, like, go, ooh, I can learn that attack, or, like, see that attack coming. It's not really going to be a thing, I think. Why well, do I get the feeling you're going to kill me? 
Okay, good. Other ginseng kills you. That one, not so much. Well, I guess let's ring the bell. Will this raise the difficulty like Sekiro's bell? I probably shouldn't have rung that because the big-headed monk guy is still wandering around and I need to kill him. Or maybe that's this is game's you uh, had to tree make sentinel. Noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. Exactly. When chimes so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guai's will surely be alarmed. And what does that mean? Are they gonna all charge at me? The ones left alive? Yeah, well, gameplay-wise, what does that mean? Well, I guess I'll just head back to the shrine and get my heels back and try to take on uh, Big Head Man. That's probably what I'm gonna do. But I guess to further expand my thoughts, I just don't think that the dodging mechanic is satisfying. Because there's like, I don't know, some weird like wait and delay to it sometimes it feels like. And against big boss guys, it definitely feels like there's not much telegraphing on the attacks. So it just like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel all that satisfying. At least to me. Would be amusing if the big guy, like, respawned as well. I would find that amusing. Transformations. Moderately increases the damage of the next attack after a perfect dodge. As a transformation? Might high cost. As the Pharaoh, yep, the same thing. So, ah, you do get attacks with it. Interesting. But I should probably focus on my core stuff. Like health and stamina. I think health is most important. Let's go to staff stances. Each talent level moderately reduces stamina cost of heavy attacks. And each slightly increases damage dealt by all varied combos. Performing light attack upon seeing through the enemy initiates a light attack combo from the third move. What is? What do you mean upon seeing through the enemy? Like using the resolute strike? Because it does say resolute counter flow. So it's like if you use resolute counter flow during an enemy's attack as a counter and then press light attack, that continues the combo maybe? I get they don't know. Versus this health upon consuming a focus point. Guess I'll put that. Like I don't know. I'm here to smack you again. Because there's a big Buddha, a monk man to kill. So far, there hasn't really been much story, aside from the opening that I hardly got to really appreciate because of graphics and uh, funky game life. Maybe I should have invested in the walk forward. Didn't mean to click that. Oh well. Yeah, definitely interesting that he's like, I do a big combo of arrows. And then he doesn't. I guess technically he tried to do his big combo of arrows. Like when I was down uh, next to the other guys. And that's potentially why he didn't do it the first time, maybe? Potentially. 
because I definitely want to fight this man. I should use the immobilize on him more. Who are you even talking to? You're alone. Or are you talking to me? You see me coming, and you say, report yourself to the master immediately. We'll do the same thing and wait for that guy to get closer. Or maybe I... Well, yeah, that way I can jump in and get a combo on him. I just need to be very careful about him. Because he does a lot of damage. And what I need to do is utilize my spells more. Because if I kill him, presumably he won't respawn and I can just go and rest if I want my spells back. Because from the, from the looks of things... There's a, like, a mana meter, and then, like, a spell cooldown. And also, I can try transformation out on him. No. Ow. Very rude. Double rude, no telegraphing. I hate you. Okay, very interesting. crying all the time. Okay, I guess I probably should see stuff like that happen more. Like, it is kind of interesting that enemies, like, have their own combos, but... Very annoying. I... No telegraphing whatsoever, I hate it. I hate you. And how your moves just counter me. Oh, and... Okay, so I guess he was in the middle of beginning a charge, so he killed me that way. Yeah, just like there's no, like, have something, a blink of light of the enemy is about to initiate attack right now. Just anything to let the player know. It just leads to the combat to be not all that satisfying when it feels like being hit and dodging is random chance rather than actually, <laughs> like... Doing it. Again, it almost feels like Spyro the Dragon Enter the... Uh, no, not Enter the Dragonfly, but uh, Hero's Tale. Because, like, oh, you have infinite lives. You just respawn. Why do we need to balance things and actually make UI design? Or maybe this guy is this game's Tree Sentinel. And the camera. Dang it. Okay, apparently I dodged uh, properly to not really be hit by that. And again, like, that just seems random. Why is that one so powerful and he does it randomly? Do we attack him during it to break his concentration? I don't know. This just seems like an average game to me. Not really all worth the hype. 
This feels kind of meh. If your shield won't hold, why are you having a shield? Get smacked. Because I do want to keep trying this guy. Because we got him down to like half health. I just need to use my spells a bit more. And see. Transformation. Ah, crap. Oh, no. Up. Oh. Yeah, again, just like. The overall things of like. Okay, that felt like it shouldn't have hit me. Again, the analyzing of attacks and dodging doesn't feel good. From YouTube chat. Hi, what's going on, Neon? Eh, just kind of experiencing the new, like, hyped game, Black Myth Wukong, and I'm not really gelling with the combat. Just doesn't feel all that invigorating. Dodging doesn't seem to work too well. <laughs> also, it doesn't help that the game began with, like, uh, graphics issues and audio issues. The, like, test program they released, like, hey, download this and you can, like, uh, like, uh, get to grips with, like, the graphic settings and stuff. Like, uh, wasn't really indicative of the actual, like, play state of the game. Settings that would give you 60 FPS in the test. Not all that much. Oh, uh, not more than all that helpful. I hate how rushed down you are. God, I do not like you. You're just not all that indicative of anything. Ah, uh, that should hit. Yeah, you're just a very annoying enemy. For the love of God. Uh, the timing on that attack. I do not like this enemy. Again, he could be the tree sentinel of this game. They, hey, come back later when you're stronger. But they haven't established anything. A lot of, like, the two bosses I've ran into have both kind of been shenanigans in their own way. So I just genuinely do not know what the game wants from me. The dodges feel weird. Analyzing the attacks feel weird. I just feel like... Again, like, if, if you're gonna have these big ol' animations, put in flashes to let the player know. Like, here's a sparkle. The dodge sparkle of, like, you really should dodge now. That's why games like Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War and the Batman Arkham games have the here, a counter now buttons. Get smacked, get smacked, get smacked, get smacked. Spam, spam. No strategy, just spam. 
No strategy, just spam. Oh no, not this attack. You piece of shit. I hate you. Yeah, I have no idea how to deal with that attack normally. Maybe I have, uh... Oh, dang it. Please stop your combo. And of course, you now decide to enter in. Okay, this again. Just get as far away as possible. I gotcha. that that hits, but well. Dang you. And I use all my stamina, so I gotta get away. I also think that, like, the animation on that attack, like, he rushes down at me. Has annoying speed stuff to it. Like, I don't know, just like. Nope. That attack should not fucking hit from behind, my dude. Again, there needs to be better tells. Again, this could be the tree sentinel of this game. The boss that's like, hey, come back later. But you don't have any baseline for this. With Elden Ring, there's some level of baseline. Not to mention, the tree sentinel is basically the first enemy you see after leaving the tutorial. So I literally, like, have no idea of anything. Especially because, like, I'm... Getting there to a degree. But I'm just, I don't feel like I'm learning anything against the guy. It's bothering me. Now, let me see. Yeah. Want to make sure you don't join in on the fun and uh, give, give me an extra, get an extra hidden on me. It also doesn't help that this guy is basically big old ba uh, bastard man of hits you a few times, does a lot of damage. Get burned. Get burned. I use magic since you're being a bastard. Dang it, I missed. Not to mention, this guy has like so many attacks and he like hones in on you so much. And that attack, like, also, just, like, his attacks feel janky. He does a lot of damage. Like, I don't know what the game wants from me. And again, like, he does shit like that, which is annoying. Like that, like... <laughs> These goddamn Cyberpunk 2077 home-in attacks. Like, dude, you're just a very lame bastard. Because any, like, going in to attack him puts you at risk of running into his just constant barrage of attacks. Again, 
could be Tree Sentinel, could be the comeback later boss, but the game hasn't established what a normal boss is, really. Because it feels like all three bosses I've run into, this guy, the wolf guy, and the bull guy, all kind of feel janky. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know what a normal boss is. They just haven't, like, set up a good normalcy here. So I don't know what the game is, like, expecting of me, what the normal is. I just, I do not know. So when this guy is just doing all this, I don't know if it is me or if it is him. Am I the failure? Is he a big boss man? You don't want to work. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to make his cycle back to me. So let's -a go. Because the funny thing is, like, I'm using the Red Tides transformation a lot against this guy. When technically you could fight him before doing the Red Tides boss guy. Because that's how I got the Red Tides. So I killed the guy, now I become the guy. Have you killed any other bosses? Uh, two bosses. Red Tides boss guy, and then a bull boss, but that was more mini boss than actual boss. He still killed me once. And then, uh, Guangxi, the wolf guy of Red Tides, also killed me once. So yeah, just like... You are beginning with this? You are a fucker! Why do you have that attack, you stupid bitch? <laughs> you are just an annoying boss, nobody loves you, go to hell. Heavy attack. <laughs> Get my stamina back. Okay, good. You're not doing the big ol' big ol', but you're still... Oh, darn it! I feel like this guy is, like, a mix of, like, design philosophies. He has a lot of fast attacks, but he also does a lot of damage. So it's just like, this guy should not be here. Not for this game. At least with Elden Ring... Like, I guess from a new player's point of view, one could say that Tree Sentinel is kind of... Well, then again, I don't even know where I would go if I don't fight this guy. Because uh, this is kind of linear design overall. So I'm trying to think, actually. Because there didn't seem to be a direction I could go after the Red Tides boss. I don't think, like, this does feel like the way I'm supposed to go, roughly. So, the, even if he is meant to be a comeback later boss, he's not all that well executed because they haven't informed the player of, like, uh, oh, you can go around him or go somewhere else first. So, I don't know. This guy feels weird. <laughs> Seems the big guy gets toppled over of heavy attack. Not all the time. He does sometimes go into a flinch state after big attacks. But I think it's like there's a hidden, uh, what's it called? Like a hidden poise meter on this guy. Where if you do enough damage to him in a short amount of time, he topples over. But considering that his, uh, he doesn't really have like easily telegraphed attacks and like easily, like, followed, like, flow of attacks. So I can't just go, oh, I know, like, uh, what it is you're gonna do next. But then he does that. <laughs> Instantly goes on the offensive. Because he is a bastard. Who does tons of damage and is annoying. Okay, 
There we go. There we go. Topple. 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 No, yes. No, no, okay, good. He, he didn't go into the full one. If you went into the full one, oh, that would have been painful. No! Oh! Fear. I fear you. Okay, maybe I need to just really commit to, like, uh, going on the offensive against this guy. That may very well be it. I need to... Because the main problem is, like, this game doesn't really have all that good, uh, like, go into... Like, it doesn't really encourage dodging and, like, weaving dodges and attacks together. That's not really what this game does. Nope. Are you... Okay, I wasn't sure if you were heading into the full one or not. Damn it! <laughs> I hate you. You're annoying. Darn it! Like, that feels like that should have a super visible shockwave, but it doesn't. Like, I feel there are many different small ways they could alleviate my confusion with this boss. Give him a poise meter! Give him more telegraphing, if only through visual effects, so I have a better, like, dodge time. Just, but it just feels... Wonky and clunky to fight. He doesn't re like he has a lot of different combos that he can go into, so it just doesn't really feel that good to fight. Because I don't know what attacks he's gonna do, so I don't know when to commit or not. I only got lucky in that one early in like uh, exchange where he got into like a mini loop where I did a full combo in the small moment that I had to do it, which caused him to stagger, which allowed me to do another full light combo, which put him into full like flop around mode. But that doesn't feel like it's con like something I can do consistently. And like, even though you say he seems like somebody you have to combo break, but you can't really do that because the game does not encourage dodging and attacking. It is dodge or attack. Like, I think there is like a mini upgrade that like, oh, you can dodge during a light combo. But I, uh, don't have that, I don't think. Not yet. Just spend all my transformation doing this. Burn. Burn. But yeah, just like... Oh, you're doing that immediately because you're a lame little bitch.
but I just like it's mostly his pattern. Damn it! <laughs> he doesn't really have one. Like he has like very uh, variable patterns that just extend a lot. So it is difficult. But yeah, like, I, like no matter what, this guy feels like there should be something extra to his desire doing the big one. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't. I don't know, because it's hard to, t like, tell apart his flailing spinning combos. Sometimes they just end. Sometimes they end in an AoE, so... I don't know what to commit to. <laughs> all of his attacks look roughly the same, but they all have very, like, it's like, he, it seems like he has a lot of beginners that then go into variables. Like, I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't feel good. Let me check my self, like, do I have any self advances? I do. Do I have that, like, that one that is, like, I'm trying to think. Because there is one. Okay, so it seems like that might be the one they want you to go for. Dodging no longer interrupts like attack combo. Maybe that's what they want you to rush. But then, like, why have it be... Because, like, you, you, they have a lot of just, like, like <laughs> things open to you right from the go. So it feels a little bit weird to put a level 6 thing... If you are only going for it, because you need to, like, even if I get this. Oh, I already have it. So, yeah. I need to grab these two. Then I can grab that if I have two. So, it's just, like, that should be so much more, like, s like so earlier. I think, I don't know. Because, like, this is my first time playing. So, I don't know what the game is expecting of me. I don't know what the bosses are. If that is meta... That shouldn't be so hard to get. <laughs> Seems like his lighter attacks get staggered by your bigger attacks. No, it's just that what I'm doing is like, because my heavy attack is variable. Where it basically has three levels currently because I have two focus. So there's the normal heavy, which uh, just does a little bit. Focus one heavy, which does a little bit more. Then focus two heavy, which does a lot and causes him to be staggered. But I can't spam that, and it takes a long time to charge it up from no focus, which leaves me vulnerable, and he can hit me while I do it. So it's just like, yeah, I hate it. Wasn't there an immobilization thing? That is a spell, and it is dog shit right now. Because, like, I want to focus on my basics, because that's what I'm going to use the most, because... Like, I don't know. I don't know how good it is to level this up at all. It's like they, they throw so much at you that I don't know what to focus on. And it's just a little annoying that this is a double one that you can only get if you go down uh, max out both the things before. When I don't care about sprinting! I do not care about sprinting! How dare you put make me put points into it! But I guess the death one isn't bad. We'll try and get to that one. But I don't know. Just like currently, that feels like the way to go. I'll explore this way a little bit. But I'm like 90% certain that there is no way to go in this direction just eternally. There's a little meandering bit with enemies in that direction. But I don't think that it actually leads anywhere. And again, this will be a good time to remind everybody, this game, so far, as I have heard, does not have a map. 
I'm like, I'm, at least I'm 90% certain that we can get over there, because also, this game sure does love invisible walls. Like, it feels like that's a way to go, but it isn't. But there is a wander around and do things, like, bit over here. It's like, maybe they want me to go this way, but that's not where the big boss is. And it almost feels like big bosses are like the, hey, uh, go in this direction things. And I can't fully call that guy a tree sentinel. A, oh, you're just not meant to be here yet. Because... There isn't any other obvious, like, opposite direction to go. At least I don't think so. Like, there is a Buddha statue, but I thought I looked at the waterfall. Well, there are Buddha statues. There doesn't seem to be a direction to go. Like, I'm fairly certain there's nothing behind the waterfall. And this all just loops back to another section of the forest that I've already been to. Alright, we can climb up here, kinda. Developers, I ask of you, uh, why are there, like, invisible walls? Why can I come up there? <laughs> I have not run into this many invisible walls in so long. Huh, I just killed him without even meaning to. I will treat that guy slightly as a tree sentinel. Also, no idea what the game meant up here when uh, I rang that bell and the spirit guy is like, why did you do that? Now all of the wolf dibbity does know that you are here. And that basically changed nothing, so I don't know. Because we ring the bell. We can't ring it again. I don't think we're meant to, like, this isn't meant to be a way to go. Nope, invisible wall. So it does feel like the game is saying, hey, go fight the big monk guy. Who's been kicking my ass. And just, like, unless I'm supposed to, like, jump over this. Can I jump over it? No, I cannot. So I don't think so. This guy is a monkey. You'd think that he'd be able to jump good. So, yeah, it definitely seems like the game wants me to at least go in the direction of that guy. He is, like, patrolling, so maybe they... But, like, the mo like. It's just losing and losing. It's a, oh, you should come back when you're stronger, like, potential argument. The longer this goes on, and the more... My bad. Thank you for missing. I will come beat you up now. Like, maybe this is a... Did I kill the guy up here? Yeah. Like, maybe... Oh, I guess I woke you and uh, you moved about. I'll kill you. Because I'm fairly certain I wandered around in... I'm fairly certain I wandered around and ev all the roads lead back to the giant monk guy. So it does seem like the game is telling me to fight him. Of which then it just feels like annoying design. Maybe not bad design overall, but just design that I do not like. And then that bridge leads me back to the way I came. And this is just the get here fast. Hmm. Come down 
here. Collect this. Collect it, Sung Wukong, but that who is not Sung Wukong. Like, I guess maybe I could just walk around him, but that doesn't feel satisfying. He is a patrolling guy, so technically I suppose that is, like, one way of saying it. You can go around him. But it just feels weird. I'm gonna go rest, get my health diddly-dees back, and uh, I guess continue to bash my head against the weird monk man. I don't know. It just feels funky. It feels funky. I mean, technically, I guess I could try and go back and see if there are any, like, alternate, like, ways to go backwards. Because we can travel between the shrines. Darn it. Might as well just reset because I took damage. Then again, this guy is a big ol' does a ton of damage. And I can't even use that one because I need two to get my, like, uh, you can dodge during your attacks. So really losing a few bits of health to this guy doesn't really matter in the long run. Go on the offensive. Can I do that? I charge up my big stick attack. The main problem with this guy for me is I don't know. I hate that that tracks. That the initial dodge track isn't fine. Uh, you are an annoying bastard of an enemy, dude. <laughs> I hate you. Okay, I weaved in a heavy attack, and that didn't stun him either. Oh. know what the game really expects from me. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like your attack. And I'm not going to get near you because you're going to do... Oh, I... You game fucking stop, please! I... Okay, that one was on the game because I hit the heavy attack because I had two focus and wanted him to do it immediately and he didn't. This is just an annoying thing. Like, the combat doesn't feel like on a base level that it's fleshed out. It almost feels like they made a fleshed out combat system and then cut away the important bits as upgrades. That's kind of what it feels like. Because, <laughs> like, the ability to dodge while without losing your combo kind of feels like that, too. Like... A very good quality of life feature that was carved away to be an upgrade. I gotta know. This all just feels wonky and weird. Again, maybe I could sneak around him. But, like, I do not think that this game has earned a tree sentinel. The level design does not beget tree sentinel. And, like, it does feel like I have, like, almost have him. Oh, I need to, he's too far away. I'll get, get behind a tree. Because, like, there's just something slightly off about it. It could be the dodging. It could be his attack flow. It could be the telegraphing. Because it, it is a little funky of, like, when I need to dodge in regards to his animation. That hasn't clicked in my head. There's just something about it. It could be a me thing. 
but I just I do feel like he's just ever so slightly off to be like here. I hate you. Why do you do this now? Also, it doesn't help that the performance is just shit. Like a chance to heal game! God damn you! You are too, too fucking agile for a big guy that does a ton of damage. I fucking swear. You are very annoying. Genuinely. I almost ran it. Oh, nope. Oh, I got on the edge of that, it seems. Freeze you so I can get up close and do that. Get more combo damage. I have no stamina. I get away. I would like to do that heavy attack, but I don't know when it would be safe. Oh, there's so much delay on using the heavy attack, even with two. Even when I have the stamina. There's far too much delay on activating that. Oh, I hate you. I do not know what it is about you. But you are a weird man, and I dislike you. <laughs> Cannot absorb spirits without guidance. You dare put this man here when I do not have ability to do it yet? How dare. At least with Tree Sentinel, you can actually pick it up. This better stay here eternally, because I don't want to fight him again. But yeah, there are just, like, multiple little things that just, like, uh, maybe they did expect you to run and not fight him. Even though he is patrolling towards there, which feels like the only way to go. Unless they wanted you to backtrack. But I feel like it is too early to backtrack. I don't know. They have taken away the feeling of fun of victory. Because he's, he's probably going to respawn, isn't he? Because this world is hell. The immobilized spell something to help. The thing is that you can't really spam it. It goes on a long cooldown. And it only helps, like, sometimes. There's still just something very funky about that guy. And how he fights. He is very fast. Does a lot of damage. Has wicked, wicked combos. And very few, what, like, at least what it feels like, very few openings. It's like, I do not know. First time going up against multiple enemies. Luckily, his friends kill him. Master, must know of this. He'll come kill you. No more arrows.
I mean, I just... Mm. Also, there's just so many invisible walls in this game. Feels funky and weird. Additionally, can you charge while in a combo? I don't think so. Plus, it would be very unintuitive. Let me see. If I begin charging... I cannot attack and charge at the same time. That is a good thought, though. Who knows? Maybe that's another upgrade that'll come along later down the line. <laughs> Just like being able to dodge while keeping your combo. Which definitely would have helped. But... Yeah, there's just something funky about that guy. Just something funky about that man. I just, I don't know where to go next. I'm going to wander around a bit more now that I killed the big guy and not like, because I could, I'll wander around like the main area first. Because again, I just, I don't know where the game wants me to go. Maybe the game wants me to backtrack because, oh, I hit the bell and, like, alerted all the guys of everything. So if I go backwards, that will, like, reveal, like, new enemies or paths or something. Meanwhile, that guy was there in an obviously new direction, so it just, like, it doesn't feel... Like, satisfying or good to make the player backtrack at this point. And again, this game does not have much goodwill from me because of how absolutely dog shit it runs on my rig, which has parts that are not terribly old. This should still run roughly okay on medium settings, when this feels more on the low side. And again, their benchmark tool just not good at all. <laughs> their benchmark tool left much to be desired. It also doesn't help that I don't know, like, where I can and can't go because of all the invisible walls. <laughs> Watch that bell that activates the ultra hard mode. Nope, that's Sekiro. And honestly, I would vastly prefer Sekiro. But here's the thing. I have beaten Sekiro. I beat Sekiro's, like, ultimate, like, true boss. I beat the Sword Saint. So it's not because I suck at, like, games in general, at least. Maybe I suck at this game in specific. Okay, it doesn't seem like, unless the game wants me to backtrack... I do not see any other way that I can go. And even then, there are problems, like, maybe my brain uh, isn't picking up on the way it wants me to go because there are so many invisible walls! Maybe the invisible walls will go away after I get an upgrade or something, but... Yeah. Like, I just, I don't know. I do not know. So far, it does feel like the bosses, like, are very fast, have combos for days, so they kind of expect you to dodge a lot, but when it comes to the exact moments of, like, when you should dodge, when those, like, attack hurt boxes will hit your hitbox, and you should dodge, aren't all that intuitive to me. It is not all that intuitive when certain attacks should be dodged compared to others. So it's like, I do not know. Can I go that way? If this was Sekiro, I'd be able to go that way. Guan Yin. I think I remember that name from Journey to the West somewhere. Like, if you don't want the player to go that way, design the level so they don't... So many invisible walls. This is not the PlayStation 2 anymore. You don't want to set off that beast. In the backyard is Blackwing Gwai's ally. Calls itself Link Schutzer. Considering your strength, I suggest you... Get away while you can, little monkey. Well, it'll depend on, like, how future bosses are like. 
I can craft armor. Neat. <laughs> Look at my face. I am traumatized. I can make the Pilgrim's Headband. You know, technically that thing that uh, technically caused the death of the Monkey King, even though he was immortal. This game is not canon Monkey King cannot die. Hammer and a uh, hammer and hue. I guess craft my first uh, piece of armor. Meanwhile, ooh, Pilgrim's Garb. Moderately increases sprint speed and increases my defense. So yeah, you... Go ahead and do that. Let's see. Go ahead and craft all this armor. When sprinting, each second moderately increases attack. This effect can stack up to ten times and will cease upon stopping. Alright, new armor and stuff. I can travel. Let's see. It doesn't even give me a map for this. Outside the forest, front hills, and Alguanian Temple. Does not refill my diddly D. Hmm. Treasure chest. Will there be an enemy around the corner trying to kill me? Or can I just open it for free? More tiny pieces of gold. I'll wander around a bit before heading up there. There are just so many invisible walls. Why so many invisible walls? Are you gonna turn out to be a boss enemy? Like that one Ginseng? <laughs> like it's just weird that that happened once and hasn't happened again. I guess I'll rest there since we haven't run into enemy any enemies up there yet. This seems to be a safe place. Go ahead and rest. We'll go. Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back! Are you telling me that this is gonna be the first real boss? I'll be pissed at you. Oh, hey! Why do you feel less bad so far compared to the monk man? Jesus fucking Christ, jump scare! I still say that the uh, heavy attack without charging is still way bad. Seriously, you are a marked improvement over the monk man! Oh, you're gonna jump scare me again? Are you gonna jump scare me, little boy? Am I meant to be charging my attack so I can hit you? Seriously! Why are you so much better than the monk man? Once again, I repeat, the delay between when you press the button and when the strong attack comes out without charging is horrid.
confirmation that monk guy horseshit. Although granted, granted, technically I wasn't meant to kill him, I guess, because like, oh, you are not meant to absorb their power without guidance. When, <laughs> then why put him here, you asshole? <laughs> this is not a cock, like, a, like, what is it? The demon guy? Like, that one, uh, blah, blah, blah. Because there is that one diddly D. Inflicts uh, more damage on enemy critical health. Sure, I like. This is cool. But, like... Th it almost feels like like that guy wasn't meant to be a tree sentinel. It almost felt like he was supposed to be an, a an asylum demon from Dark Souls 1. But the thing is, the asylum demon makes sense because he is overwhelming in a small area and there is only one way for you to run. That guy was more tree sentinel. It's like, it's just weird. I surprised myself now too. Justin, you might as well take a good look around. A great pill, the Black Wind Guide. <laughs> Finding it would be a deserving reward for that fight. But yeah, he's just like, like did <laughs> did nobody beta test or like a uh, gameplay test this game? Because I could have like. Any person that just, like, begins pick up this game, I feel like would go, hmm, it's kind of unsatisfying to fight this guy and not have much telling you, like, which way, what way, what. Extra area damage. I guess I might, like, like, I guess do that? Like, I don't know. It still just feels extra funky. But yeah, that fight felt so much more smooth and natural compel compared to the Monk Man. I don't get it. And like, if it was like, I don't know, there's just something about the dodges. Yeah, it's like the first one, like there's a weird timing to the dodges. That makes, like, uh, dodging onslaught of attacks a wee bit uh, weird and wonky. Tiny piece of gold and yarn. <laughs> like, almost swap the bosses. Put the monk man here. Far more terrifying. But I also wonder what the uh, guy said. He's like, look around for the black pill. It'll be like a deserving reward. Does that mean like head back and look for the black pill earlier in the level or move forward? Because how can I trust you? You also said, like, uh, if you go there, there's no turning back. Lo and behold, I can go back. But I guess we'll move forward, maybe. And... Like, hope nothing happens. Like, whenever the UI disappears, I'm like, cutting! What? No, it's just dynamic UI. I think that guy was at the beginning of the game. Ah, it's just right here, probably. Celestial Jade Lotus Pill, a miraculous pill concocted by the god of longe uh, longevity in the southernmost reaches of the land that massively increases maximum health. 
Okay, yeah, I'd say that that that's decently massive. But before we truly move on, and why did the d frame rate just die there, game? I picked up an item. But yeah, so far, like aesthetically, this just feel like this is a, a Sekiro that runs worse graphically. Sekiro is nice, and I can play that one without pain. And then I can reignite the sparks if I want to respec, but I'm not sure if that, like, uh, does anything. If it's, like, uh, potentially bad. Like, the first time is free. You've done it once, you fool. You'll have to pay for it next time. But I guess I'll wander back. First off, to see if the monk respawned. And if I have to cry. And two... Then, if, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then also just to check things out. Look for secrets and stuff. Did these guys not respawn? Huh, these guys didn't respawn. I rested. I, and didn't die. I, I specifically rested. Before the fight with the wolf. And those guys didn't respawn. Huh. I guess they were story? Interesting. I'm just trying to think, uh, gather my thoughts. Overall, they will depend on if this monk man has respawned. I beg of you, game. Do not respawn the Monk Man because I did not take his soul. Is the blue spark there? Well, he doesn't seem to have respawned either. But his purple spirit seems to be gone. So, I think I might have locked myself out of 100% uh, completion. Which, honestly, don't mind. I, heard, I hear that there's, like, a new game plus. So, oh well. Alright, that doesn't feel like I thought it would. Let me come up here and fight these guys. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay, understood. What that means is, when I'm doing my combo, and I dodge, I can still lead up to that big hit. Instead of having to restart the entire thing all the way. Gotcha. Sure. Also, oh yeah, that happens. But also, I still don't know exactly what happened with the I can turn you into a golden cicada! And then that just happened once. Everything just like... This entire game feels slightly wonky and weird. What do you mean meditate? I already meditated. Is Will this just play the cutscene again of me meditating? Taking in the land? Or will I get, it like, another spark point for it? Let's do it! Let's- let's see what happens! <laughs> On the one hand, hilarious if infinite sparks by, like, I don't know, go rest, come back here, get spark point. Probably won't be that. Would be hilarious if it was, though. It's probably just going to replay the cutscene. But it's funny because, like, uh... It just seemed to vanish, the prompt to do it. So yeah, interesting. So I guess, like, the prompt resets with... Like, resetting. Be smarter, or my <laughs> Who needs to be smarter when I can just kill you? And then go self-advance. What does self-advance even mean? 
Come to think of it. Game focus from perfect dodges. Give me that. We'll try to just like max that out, I guess. We can always re spark. But yeah, I kind of want to wander around and see if I can find any secrets. But yeah, the self advance is just an odd term to use overall. I feel like there are, like, other, like, terms you could use. Self-advance just feels odd. Forgot that you toads were down here. Did not forget that you explode. No idea why you explode. But yeah, if I have to say, like, my biggest complaint from an objective point of view, I do think that pressing the heavy attack takes too long to get to the attack happening. Like, watch. I press it now. I press it now. It takes so long to do. I hate it. It is definitely seem to be something meant that to, like, sneak up on an enemy and do, rather than, like, pepper it into your combat. But it just, like, it still feels horrible to use. It just feels so fucky. Like, watch. Hit it. We. That guy had the time to monologue. In between me pressing the button and it happening. Like, I understand, like, in a way, it's the heavy attack. It takes a while to wind up. But at the same time, it is, I press it, I flippity flew the staff back into the same position it was before I pressed the button. And then I do the attack. It's just like, maybe it's nitpicky, but it just feels bad to do. This is where we fought the, uh, the, the, uh, the bull guy. And we learned the stasis ability. But I'm just gonna wander around, see if I can find any secrets or not. And if not, just uh, kill more enemies. You dare say my face? What about your face? Your face is infinitely worse than my face. I forget. Like, one interesting thing it was, like, when we came over here, you did, like, an animation. And that's all that it is, an animation. So we can't go down there. Maybe if I ran at it, I accidentally drank my health potion. And I still don't know how it looks on stream. Because I am, like, recording and streaming all this on a single computer while playing the game. On a single computer. So, like, the preview window of, uh, OBS sometimes looks, uh, kind of funky. Like, same thing with, like, uh, when I was looking at the stream preview on, like, Twitch. Looks a bit funky. So, like, depending on, like, the quality of, like, the actual recording, I might not stream this purely because it looks weird and wonky. I don't have a strong enough computer to play and stream at the same time. And yeah, it just doesn't feel like there's that many, like, secrets so far. And I totally know the moment that a secret does show up, I'm gonna miss it because I'm just gonna go, Oh, I thought that was a, uh, I thought that was going to be a, uh, invisible wall. 
because that is all this game is sometimes. Okay, the, that is still cool. But still, God, the delay. You're right, your shield is useless. Also, like, okay, I want, I, I'm gonna check the, the journal because I want to know something. Let's see, Yao Guai Chiefs, Bull Guard, and Yao Guai Kings, however you say that name. His great fur speaks of fierce might with blood-stained fangs that gleam in the night. Claws like soul reapers, tail swings death song. Fame's Buddhist ways, but his blood bloodlust stays strong. Interesting. But uh, one thing I want to know, lesser Yao Guai's. Crow Diviner. Because these guys don't respawn, and I don't know why. Know how? Perfect dodge, charge heavy hit, focus, varied combo. Follow a light combo with a heavy attack to trigger a varied combo. If the first strike of the varied combo lands, it can chain into a second strike. But if just still, I, I might have to try that more, but it just feels funky. Like maybe the next enemy I see, there was a crow guy down there. We killed him and he's gone now. Yeah, I'm gonna head backwards just to see if there's anything. I believe this is the first shrine that we found. We can teleport, which is nice. I still don't know what ringing the bell did. So I can throw in a faster heavy attack with, uh, with varied attack. I wonder if I need... You do need focus to do it. So the question then becomes... Is it worth... Well, I guess I could probably build up two focus and then use a two focused heavy hit varied attack? Maybe? Yeah, this is the very beginning of the game. You are not Frieza. You do not have monkey pass. Because this is the very beginning of the game. I just want to look around and see. Nope, can't go back. So, I guess no secrets currently. Secrets come later, I guess. I don't know, it just feels like I've been playing the game longer than I have because of the monk guy. The monk guy just broke all of the flow in the game. Because it definitely seems like they wanted me to wait and fight him later, but they didn't, like, incentivize or telegraph that. So, uh, travel time. To the Guanyin Temple. So yeah, the level design is a little funky. There's a far too many invisible walls for my liking. When the bosses aren't the monk man, they're pretty decent, I guess. Would be hilarious if you respawned. Surprise! The one boss that respawns in the entire game is here! Oh, that would be hilarious. But yeah, like, also with the, like, graphical issues and performance issues, also kind of eat away at my, uh, goodwill towards the game. Like, did you something off here? Oh. <laughs> well, why do you need two shrines? There's one right before this. Like, as a respawn point, they, they don't want people running through the boss arena again? Maybe something will come back at that boss arena at a later date. 
Guan Yin himself comes down. You killed my werewolf bull friend. Die. But yeah, one thing I need to try is gather uh, two focus and use that for a varied combo to see if it does major damage. Hello? I thought you were a hyena at first, but I guess you're a horse. You don't look like a Yaogwai from these parts. No. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? I guess you could say that. Uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death hmm. and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwing Gwai is a sly one. Want me to kill him? He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. Oh, I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. Neat. I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Oh, good now, old horseman. the time. Fare thee well, then. Not sure if I'll have to fight you at a later date. You have a cool design. I guess, I guess we'll meditate. We'll take in this rocky quarry. Why does this... I don't know. Like, this feels like it's from a different game, almost. Why does this remind me of, like, Ghost of Tsushima's, uh, haiku thing? You sit on a pad, and then you select verses for a haiku while focusing on camera points. Well, like, in a way, it's like, this is a little odd. It's like, sit on here, meditate by looking at things, and then get a point. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Like, are you saying that because you think that I am Sung Wukong? Or is it just because... Rude. Oh, hey, is this a new chest? Or is this, like, a different thing? Yeah, interesting. I got yarn. No idea why I had to pull something out of that one, but other ones I just open. Sure. When, you're down, there'll be no... when I find somebody who has a lot of health, I'll use the varied attack on them. What the f I thought that summoned something for a moment. I thought I broke that pillar and that, like, an enemy came out. Surprise! Uh, no. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess if I was fighting that guy and I hit that, that would interrupt my combo and allow him to fuck me up. Hmm. Why do I have the feeling that this is going to turn out to be a monster? Hmm. Every single time I come across a new plant, I'm going to be like, are you like that ginseng freak? Like, I'm just gonna be very, like, paranoid of enemies around any corner. I had, uh, my paranoia is activating. Seeing that frog, my brain went, uh, Breath of the Wild for a moment, and I wanted to collect it. I'll let you explode. I will journey down river and then head up. No. How dare you attack me. Illegal in 50 states.
Like, I wonder what these really are. If they're just like, oh, you get 18 will, which is meaningless to me in the grand scheme of things. Let's see, did I come down this path? Are there enemies here? Uh, no, because I went down there and then came around. Like, I don't know, the the design of the aesthetics of the level feel too grand for the level design. <laughs> like, a better game deserves these graphics. Antasma, body cooling powder, tonifying dictation. Like, I genuinely don't know what is, like, is going to be, like, uh, off limits and what's going to be actually explorable. A part of me fears later in the game where it'd be like, oh, ho, ho, you could have explored when you thought that it was indeed an invisible wall. An anti-miasma powder, which gets rid of poison, burn, damage reduction... And then increases maximum stamina for a long duration. And it's rare. I wonder if I can buy that from my, like, mystical grandpa guy. That's his name now, mystical grandpa guy. Oh, crow. <laughs> Okay, does not use both. Out, rude. I want to heal. Please let me heal. Get out of here. I do wonder why these guys don't respawn. Like, this one I understand. He's right next to a spawn point, but... Also, I just realized, man, they are putting these spawn points super close together. Like, compare this to, like, uh, what's it's called? What's that f game? Um... Neo. Neo, like, does, it does not feel the same at all. Like, with Neo, that's more, like, level-based, uh, blah, blah, blah. level-based kind of souls-like. Oh, an enemy down there saw me, I guess. But, like, uh, even it doesn't really put, like, uh, these super close together like that. Like, I guess it kind of does sometimes. Now free in nature's sea. All right, are you going to be a boss guy or... Also, I don't know how much of this is, like, explorable and how much of it is invisible wall. Like, why even... Like, again, oh, hello, freak of nature boy. Oh, you're a snake! Why? I'm not expecting you. No. <laughs> yeah. You are a freaky, freaky man. I heard somebody talking, like, oh, who's writing poetry up here? Suddenly, Snick! And I am... Tonifying... Body cooling, anti-miasma. I need to go back and see which one's which. Anti-miasma. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, you're a man. 
Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? You mean the demons? The wills float aloft, never to fade. Or the wills. Shame, your god serves little purpose, and mine answers solely to me. Hmm. Are you a new merchant? I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. Oh. It will aid you. You mean instead the, uh, hmm. like, hmm. the Bubba Bub, the... <laughs> like purple soul thing I couldn't collect when I killed the monk man? Maybe? No, oh, this is better. This gourd. Though humble may save the lost, banish their obsessions and guide them. The Blessed Gourd. Under the guidance of a wise master, the Destined One has mastered the art of spirit absorption. Mastered. <laughs> As in, he wrote on the gourd. <laughs> From YouTube chat, yo, what's up? Like, uh, me experiencing and feeling very conflicted about, like, uh, this here game, the Black Myth uh, Wukong. Like, it's fine, but I definitely feel like it's overhyped. There are far better games in all the things that it wants to do. The Gord possesses remarkable divine capabilities, allowing it to absorb lingering wills of spirits left behind by formidable Yaogwais who have been defeated. I already killed one. For one as destined as you, there can be no turning back. We are like tumbleweeds, drifting through life with a destiny beyond our grasp. All right, so... I can teleport. So I'm gonna head back and see if the monk guy has respawned. Or if his spirit will just be there. Oh, retrieve spirits! It's a mechanic! All our spoils have been retrieved. That's good. I was going to ponder that for a moment because I wondered, like, if that would be a thing. Apparently, it actually is. When key is full, press the triggers to launch spirit skills. Transforming into a powerful Yagwai to unleash their signature abilities cost key, which can be recovered by absorbing it from enemies during combat. Spirits of Yao Guais can be cultivated at Keeper Shrines to enhance their spirit skill. Let's watch the demo. I don't even think that's an attack he used against me. Oh yeah, I ha uh, heard of it, uh, thought about playing it, but I was going to wait till people played it and make reviews about it. Personally, I think it is graphically fine, but like... Uh, Definitely not really optimized. You'll probably have to throw down the graphic settings unless you have a really, really, really good com uh, computer. There's the snake guy again, I presume. Uh, Gameplay-wise, eh, it's like basic video game gameplay. Like, maybe it'll get better later on, but... Uh, it's like, I feel like there are better games. The story, like, doesn't really make much sense, even from a basic understanding of Journey to the West. And, uh, I just feel like there are better Souls-likes you could, uh, play. Like, if you really, really want to play it, like, I'm sure it would be fine. It's just, like... One thing I do kind of dislike is... The dodging? The dodging feels a bit unsatisfying due to the fact that, like, uh, certain enemies lack, like, cohesive. Why is there no invisible wall for this game? You have invisible walls everywhere but here. I hate you. Oh, yeah, and there's also a ton of invisible walls just absolutely everywhere which just utterly annihilates 
like exploration, it makes you wonder why they designed the game the way they did. If they didn't want you to explore these... Uh, one of you's gonna come to life, aren't you? Oh, you're all gonna come to life, aren't you? My favorite. Oh yeah, so far, like, the basic... Like, uh... As I said, like, earlier... It almost feels like they started the game with a super fleshed out combat system and then restricted that combat system, taking things out to make them into combat upgrades rather than starting with a good base and then adding things on top. That's kind of the vibes I get from this game. So far, there's not much exploration, or maybe there is, but the, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes there are invisible walls out the wazoo. Sometimes there's not. The spirit guide turned me into a golden cicada once, and then never again, and that is not an ability that I currently have. I am very mixed on this game. Also, there is no map. So yeah, when it comes to this game, I just have no idea of, like, is this a place I can explore? Or is that going to lead to a invisible wall? There is no way of knowing which way this wretched world is turning. Oh, and I guess just to throw it out there, the graphics test, the graphics benchmark test is worthless. Got an achievement. Absorb and cultivate. Consume those who had been consumed. Consume those who had consumed. Okay. Odd. Don't know why I got that from that. But yeah, basically, uh... I'm trying to think of what I was going to say. I got distracted. But yeah, right now, I guess this could be like a 7 out of 10... If I wanted to be especially cruel, maybe a six. It's not overly grand. It's not all that great. Like, uh... When it comes to one enemy that I fought, the wandering spirit monk man, he was horrible. I hated him. Are you going to be like the Spirit Monk Man? What the fuck? Also, the delay on that. You're not doing much damage, at least. There's a bit of annoyance when it comes to enemies uh, telegraphing their attacks, or rather, just not. Like that. How am I supposed to see that coming? Sometimes the camera, like, reveals, like, ah, oh, they're gonna do a thing. Like, this feels like a much more balanced fight compared to that... Monk man, what the hell? Are wandering spirits meant to be that terrible? Okay, never mind. This is a wandering spirit. And that was so much easier than the monk man. <laughs> what? Is the monk man just horribly balanced? Like, is the Monk Man glitched? Is the Monk Man not meant to be as dangerous as he seems? What even? I am confuzzled! Because the Monk Man was able to kill me in like two hits. Like, maybe it's a combination that I got new armor and a health upgrade, but I do not think that they would be that massive of an advantage. Also, that filled up my gourd again. Okay, that's actually pretty good. 
Congratulations, Frogman. You have single-handedly, like, potentially saved this game from a super scathing. I still do think that they went a bit too far with the Monk Man. But maybe not as bad as I initially was, like, saying, like, if everything else is fine... And the Monk Man is a one-time outlier. Maybe I can forgive you, game. But it is just, like, bonkers shocking. That, like, my first Wandering Souls boss was so... So eldritchly bad compared to literally all others. I am so confused. Also, like uh, the enemies climbing walls like that is a bit funky. I will still say, the delay between pressing the heavy attack button once instead of charging is just not at all fair. It takes so long. Again, for those just tuning in, the time delay between pressing the... Well, I, I, I don't want to do it right. Well, it's kind of easy to get focus, but to, uh, the time delay between just pressing the heavy attack is this. I press it now. It is so delayed. I kind of understand it to a degree, but it still feels bad. You can't really throw out a heavy attack and, like, combos in between heavy and light isn't really all that there. Like, you can initiate a combo and do a varied attack, but that still does require focus to be built up and then used. Like, I don't know. This game just feels a bit wonky and weird still. More time will tell if it ultimately pays off. But it has not had the most glamorous initial, like, introduction to me. It crashed on me before I even got to the main menu. It, like, graphically looks fine, but feels absurdly unoptimized. The benchmark tool that you can download and use without buying the game does not indicate at all the use case of playing the game, just warning everyone again. Oh, I guess I get more wills by absorbing them with the upgraded gourd. That's kind of neat. Are you going to be a boss monster? Why was it just the singular Ginseng guy? The singular Ginseng guy rose out of the ground to kick my ass, and I haven't run into one again. But I will say again, as I play this game, there are so many invisible walls! Why are there so many invisible walls? You designed the game! The levels! If you didn't want a player to go there, you could put an obstacle!
Oh, hey, it's here! Finally! After a billion years, the demon has a weapon. Get smacked, idiot. I was wondering when you would happen again, and it finally has. So I guess the best way to say it is that this game grows on you the deeper you get in because you get more upgrades. You learn the bad design of certain aspects of the game. But ultimate, I, I would just still just say if you want to, like... A similar-ish aesthetic? Just go play Sekiro. It's much better. <laughs> sure, not a one-to-one -one aesthetic. Not the same ultimate gameplay. But it's far more satisfying. Because the ultimate thing is that this, ult this does seem like it's going to depend heavily on the boss design. The boss and enemy design is going to be what makes or breaks this game. And I guess, like, how good leveled up gameplay is, and how much you can upgrade your gameplay. Because again, that monk guy annihilated my ass. This humble one's name is Guangmo. Should my demise come by your hands, why do you have a tapeworm? Please pass this message to my master. Searching for deity, mortals do aspire. Craving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire. <laughs> Okay, let me transform. Okay, that's cool. They have dialogue, even though it uh, cut off because I hit him. That's kind of cool. The okay, freeze. Kind of mean, gotta say. Oh, oh, I can pause in the middle of combat. I for almost forgot. And uh, get rid of the poison state. Boys, our oh, that's mean. Oh, these things aren't timed. And yeah, this game is just not made to be with combat dodge like that. Darn it. And he's going to poison me again. Save your own and I won't be able to take it away. There's still something just not intuitive to the core combat. And I do think it is because it's meant to be fast pace. But you can't really intertwine dodging and fighting all that much. At least not yet. And not yet is all I currently have. Oh, what are you doing here? You weren't here before. <laughs> oh, I guess you saw me from that one location on the map and uh, got closer to the... Or maybe that's just how long it took you to get there. 
I wish that that attack would track a bit more. Please die. I gotta get to your boss again. Are all the skeletons still gone? Nope, skeletons respawn. This is just the, like, snake planes. Mini snake forest. So as I slowly make my way around him, he'll probably see me and come for me. But I don't want to charge after him because of all the skeletons. Okay, got you again. There's like a like special thing for like killing them with their allies transformation. Still think that it's a bit rude have like these kinds of enemies a little bit I probably should do more of the no more poison from you I could parry that. Rude. That's so slow, I hate it. <laughs> I hate that they can dodge. Darn, I let that hit me. See, so yeah, if it weren't for your boys, I probably would have beaten you. Get out of here. Wong move. Then why'd you die for him? You are just like him. And now I take your soul. When Mo, when you, I remember the evil monks abetted Elder Jinja to burn the great sage and tongue. That's these two. I thought they were already turned into ashes by that fire. Who would have thought they had turned into Yaogwais? Hmm. Interesting lore. And again, just like, why so many invisible walls? Like, that's another thing that, like, uh, Sekiro has on this game. There aren't that many invisible walls from what I remember. Typically, if there's a way you can go, you can go there. I hope this leads me to a shrine rather than a fight. Okay, shrine. Then I'll go back and go the other way. Because there's just so many ways that look like it's a way you could go. And they just 
don't let you? Like, I can kind of understand to a degree. But it's just like... Well, I just I don't know. It just feels weird. Like, I guess I could uh, upgrade that as well. Resolute Strike performing another attack consuming in a, a focus point. Hmm. So it's like more. So I can do the Resolute Strike and then I could follow up. I'll go ahead and hit that. And then since we'll be doing a lot of varied combos, I'll raise that. Overall, it just, like, the game feels unfocused. Like, the opening of the game feels like it would be better suited for an old-school PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 God of War, like, beat-em-up game. An Azura's Wrath kind of game. And this just isn't. It's a Souls-like. Another bell. I do not know what these do. I do not know what ringing the bells do. All they do is like, why would you do that? Now they all will know and it changes nothing. I'll ring the bell because it changes nothing. It does nothing. Now all the Yaogwai will know you're here. And then they will do jack shit about it apparently. Just like the last bell. I have an ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead and take them out once and for all? The mountain? Or does that... M why don't you go and take them out once and for all? What does that mean? Is that actually telling me that if I go back and kill enemies, they'll stay dead? Is that what you're saying, game? Am I picking down what you're setting up? Because that's kind of what it feels like. And the only reason I'm coming to that conclusion is because other, like, the only other enemies I can think of after ringing a bell that I, like, well, no, it can't be because I rang the bell against, uh, after I killed the wolf guy with the flames. I went on to kill all those enemies over and over again, and they respawn. But there were also other enemies that didn't respawn. So I just, I wonder. It's weird. I still don't know what the bells are meant for. Might as well kill these guys to go back a bit. I have my respawn point anyway. I still stand by that the... Like, telegraphing of attacks is kind of bad. At least it feels bad. I'm sure that you can learn to go like, Ah, I know when to dodge now. But it doesn't feel intuitive. Which I guess to some degree, unintuitive dodge timings, like, would be perfect for enemy attacks because, like, oh, by doing that, it makes it harder. But it, it ruins the feel for me. 
Like maybe that's just a me issue, a skill issue. But game feel is important. And personally, I would rather have slightly easier, like, dodge timings for enemy attacks and satisfying combat than unsatisfying combat that I due to unintuitive dodge timings that I can learn. I don't know. Could be a me issue. Could very well be. This is just me spitballing off the top of my head of like, hmm, this feels bad. Because just remember the good old adage, gamers might not be good at coming up with solutions, but they typically are good at telling when something feels bad. And the basic combat of the game, when risen to a challenging level, feels bad. There's just something off that I can't fully explain. I am not a designer. But I do think that, like, there's some parts that are just kind of weird. Like, what are the bells? What do they mean? Like, he says, why don't you go and take them all out? The resentment of the mountain is growing. I'm going to quickly just check and see if those guys did stay dead. They probably didn't. Because, again, I rang the other bell from the wolf guy. And the answer is a definitive no. I still don't know what the bell does. Hmm. Because it feels like it doesn't do anything. I went and fought the wolf guy, rang the bell. None of the enemies felt different. Although the first one was just like you alerted the Yaogwai. They know you're here now. Which they didn't. Nothing changed. This one th was the resentment of the mountain is growing. It feels more like that's just a thing I meant to do for the story. More than anything. Monster. Skeleton monster. Oh, I guess, yeah, because you exist as a cutscene, so it makes sense to focus on the dead These enemy. Snake guys are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside. Drinks and soaks. One second, I'm going to open this. More tiny pieces of gold. <laughs> well, well. I'd stake your one more monkey from Mount Wagwo. <laughs> so yeah, have we all come I've here to try and... Fulfill things. The rank of birth. You all ought to call me forefather. <laughs> Increased gourd effects because of the vagrant or uh, fragrant diddly dee. Yes, please. Oops, down to this road. Have a look if something. Upgrade drinks. I do not have awakened wine worm. Recovers more health upon using gourd. Coconut wine. Each sip restores 33% maximum health. Hmm. Brew. Using the Gord Martley increases poison resistance for a short thing. Sure. I got achievement. Brew of bravery. Fresh brew in an old cask. Made stir a great task. Uh, for a brief moment after using the Gord, slowly recover a small amount of health. And these are soak. 
Think of it as me earning a drink or two. All right, so I can instead come here. So coconut wine is the drink, presumably in my gourd. Drink, drink. It can lead to success or failure. Do drink wine. Yeah, like, the deeper I get in, things do seem to be getting interesting. Let me watch what you do. I create some summons to will attack. Quite nice. Oh, but I want to see inventory. So I do assume... That, like, uh... Yeah, the drink is coconut wine. And the celestial seeds soak. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. They didn't really explain that all that well. I kind of had to infer a lot there. I think that so far that's, like, another big problem with the game is that they don't explain things well. They kind of just exist, and you have to infer a lot. Which, depending on the ways the game goes, could mean that it is a, more of a bother than a fun time. Are my ripples going to awaken a thing? Hailed bird, hailed bird, what dimmed your shine? I think I see you. Are you do you have a weird funky face on top of the pillar? The oh no, it's just a statue. May still clasp. Oh, are you gonna be the boss from before? Where's somebody? Is the hour. White clad Young noble. One. You're a snake. In which you choose to stay in my tranquil abode. Pray tell, to what end do you seek? Yours. Rude. Game, let me get the fuck up. Not with a... It also sounds like my destined monkey is saying, what, what? And it's like, the flow of enemy attacks is weird. I don't like it. Stop! Have attack patterns. Have game design. Uh, you're not. You're annoying. Have game design. Have patterns. God damn it. You're lame. I attack forever and kind of slowly but fast. I, I don't like that design of him just going and going and going and going and going. Oh, you tried to play the game. Die. Dodging doesn't really help all that much because he's still going to continue going and going and going. You probably don't hit him enough to prevent his going, so there is no point in trying. This is stupid. I hate it. And again, when do I dodge you? 
Oh look, another dodge that is meaningless. My favorite. Dixie just like... Like, I don't know. Just... The fuck, game? <laughs> Once again, I beg. Telegraph the attacks. Have design to your damn game. I sure do love that he just keeps going and going and going and that I cannot escape him because he keeps going and going so there's no opportunity to heal. Fuck off! He just keeps going and going and following you. There are no attack patterns. There is only the attack that he is always doing. Fuck this. I hate it. It feels so bad to experience. Because it doesn't matter how often you dodge, he's still going to be attacking. You, you try to run away to heal, and he's still attacking. It's just like, come on! Where is the design in this game? It's like we went from the cool design of like the wolf guy, where sure, some of his stuff was hard to dodge, but I could kind of preemptively dodge it. Or like the, like big wolf guy, which is kind of the same. A ripper awake. But then like, like I get it, you're going for cool anime moment, but you're kind of bullshit and should die. Like, is there any point to dodging and trying to attack him at all? <laughs> I swear. Like, I just want to get away and try to... I'm just like, again, the flow of dodging, the flow of his attacks. Like, sure, there is some, oh, get up and learn it, but, like, there's so many attacks. I feel like I should be rewarded for doing a good dodge. But it honestly feels like I'm not. I sure do love the delay on that fucking attack. Whoops, big and does a lot of damage. Yeah, and I would like to be able to pull it off sometimes. And now I'm gonna transform into your friend. Kill you if you're a friend. You have forced my Ah great, you have a face too, don't you? Now you shall face what I truly have. Yay, my favorite. I honestly don't know anything. And he just does that at lightning speed. That's fun. What is the point of perfect dodges if it does nothing for me? I swear. I know it gains focus. But when it comes to dodging like attacks, it feels like it does nothing.
basically I'm waiting. Ah! For fuck's Stop. sake, have some telegraphing to your attacks. Anything that I can go, oh, I press button now, rather than I guess I press button sometime next week. You better be still in your face too, you bitch. You lame little snake Sasuke wannabe fucker. Like, he's not the worst boss so far. God damn it, he has his legs again. But I've seen what you truly are. Yeah, it's just like, dodging feels unrewarding. These guys have just like, way too m many fucking attacks that flow and flow. It just never ends sometimes. It honestly feels like the enemies have better dodges than I do. Oh boy, my combo. It has been ruined. But his combo it is never ruined. But his hair, eternally ruined. Dodge thing. Oh, it's Captain America spear, actually. Uh, have a pattern, please. Have tells of when I can dodge. It's just like, yeah, it is unsatisfying to fight these things. Their combos go on for a long time. At least this one doesn't do a ton of damage, but it still just leads to an unsatisfying feeling where it hardly feels like I'm learning his patterns. My dodges do not feel satisfying to pull off because it feels like I'm not rewarded for it. Oh boy, my dodge was useless because he has no real tell. Oh boy. Oh look, my dodge is so worthwhile to do. Why does he have a better dodge than I do? Why does his mobility go hard while well, mine is shit? Why can he attack after dodging really well, but I can't game? I hate you. I would like to play game, but I am not allowed to because this is an emo fuckboy. Dodges are so unsatisfying and unrewarding. There's, it almost feels like there's no real point to dodging because you get so little out of it against bosses. It's almost like telling you, oh, there's no reason to actually try and uh, counter-attacking. Why do you dodge away after doing your pattern attack? Have an opening so I can do damage, please. Oh, 
Ah, uh, so lame. It honestly feels like there's no real opportunity to do a combo. Because you're either dodging or trying to attack him. And by the time you're trying to attack him, he's about to wind up for his another obnoxiously long attack pattern. And if you try to damage him during his attack pattern, you're just going to get damaged as well. And then when he's like, I'm just going to walk around a little bit, it takes so long for a two-focus heavy attack to come out that I just can't hit him. It is RNG, basically. <laughs> Okay. He's just like, I don't know, there's just something off with the combat. Again, he does five fucking million things in quick succession. And just punishes you for trying to attack him. Why can't I stun him more? I got one hit out on him, and he did his attack pattern again. And that doesn't even leave him open. God, you're so fucking lame. Ah! Oh, come on! Let me hit a two-focus heavy attack. He was just standing there as I go. Uh, this, this is boring. This is boring now. I'm hitting the dodge button and nothing's fucking happening, game. God. It feels like there's delay on everything now. I try to sip from my flask. Delay. I try to do a heavy attack. Delay. I try to dodge. Delay. The combat is so unsatisfying the moment anything actually has challenge. Because the ba base gameplay just feels like shit when it comes to the delays. Why even have a heavy attack at this point? If you're basically encouraged to only ever do the varied attack, you basically shouldn't be able to do any heavy attacks at all. The enemies are too m movement. Like, either they're gonna damage you before you get your attack off, or they're just gonna move out of the way. A ripper it's just so unbearably annoying. Like, maybe I'm supposed to incorporate, like, sprint attacks more? I hate you, game. Yeah, don't lock on. Don't auto lock on to him and run to him with you while doing the attacks. Don't do that at all, disciple destined man boy. Randomly, I get major damage. How convenient. It's just like, I am now just disengaged. He did, oh, you already did that attack pattern. Have an opening, you cunt. God damn you. You are so lame. And there's just like no real way of knowing if he's going into an attack pattern that you shouldn't counterattack in. It's just, eh. It's just hard to tell anything. His animations mean that he can flow into any of his attacks. And it's hard to tell. And he just goes into it again and again. Finally got that off. Yeah, it's just like the telegraphing on attack, the overwhelming just attack comboing all the heavy hitters do, and just the lack of opportunity to counterattack into their attack patterns. Just 
doesn't feel good. And it just leads into this thing where you don't want to do, like, creative or you fun things because it's going to break you out of your flow hand. and maybe get you stuck in one of their attack patterns. No, you shall face. I'm going to wait until I get this guy, like, halfway or something. And now you're super speedy. main main thing is like dodge like dodging in between their attack patterns and then counter attacking just doesn't like feel like it comes naturally so it's just hard to get into the groove of doing what the hell hit me that's happened a few times now, where it honestly just feels like randomly I get hit by damage. That one, not so random. Okay, let me do damage. Like, I know he's kind of water guy, I'm flame man, but still. Oh, yeah. And I got through that with what felt like luck. Slithering Snake. The white-clad one fled his case, and I couldn't read the diddly do fast enough. No ill will, I bear. I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. I do not trust you. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders. Yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. The three bells. Yeah. Have you seen them all? I've rang two, Do I think. Do you desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? Wait a minute. Bells. I've done two. Three bells were set in the mountains since the black winged choir's return, yet no one is allowed to go near them. Maybe the bells have something to do with the temple's burning. His words sound like truth to me, little monkey. Stay sharp and keep a lookout. Because I know I've rang two of them. And come to think of it, I think I know where potentially one is? Potentially. But here's also another one, I guess, and then fog. Odd that he said, like, I bear you no ill will, though. Are you just normal guys? Because I could swear that I know where, like, because the horse guy. Oh, that's disturbing. Why is he hung? I'll ring the bell, because I can. And then I'm gonna go... Like... Talk to the horse guy again, maybe. Because he had a bell. Not as big as that, I don't think, but he had a bell. And then a gate opened. And then more poems, I think. 
obsession? Does this speak of something that's actually in the game? Or does it not? Is it just a poem for poem's sake? I rang three bells. Hopefully that didn't, like, do a thing. Three bells sound, lost souls bound. Enduring echoes. Hopefully that doesn't, like, advance things to a impossible state for me. Because I still want to go back and talk to the horse guy. Ancient Guan Yin Temple. Ancient Guan Yin Temple. This really is Sekiro. I went back in time. You say ancient. So, as in, like, long ago. This feels a lot rougher than the last time I was here. So, is, am I gonna fight the, like, one wolf guy again? Can I teleport from here? I can craft well, weapons, huh? Bamboo Grove. And I guess, like, Marsh of the White Mist is... Oh, like, uh, where the merchant... Like, where a, the merchant is, I guess. Maybe. But, Ancient Guanyin Temple. And then I can upgrade this to do 10 more damage. And uh, that's basically it, but sure. Andy and Hardy, a good, ma uh, good match calls for a good weapon, says the achievement. Do I care to upgrade? That's only two, not really all that good. Only one, not really all that good. Only one, but at the same time, hmm, massively reduces stamina cost when water if I have the whole set. And I mean, it does look pretty nice compared to, compared to that. Hmm. Costs a lot of will, though. What about you? Hmm. Model increases sprint speed. I mean, I guess I might as well make that because it looks nice. And increases poison resistance. Did not notice that at first. Poison resistance will be nice. Ah, you know what? Why not? I don't really care about the sprint speed. In, uh, just in general. Don't really use it myself. So, ancient Guanyin Temple. Oh, y no. Not oh, you. Sankamitaba. Not you. Oh, finally, then, the three bells sang. Disciples come, I hear travelers approaching. Not my you, temple, big monk man. <laughs> You're a hidden boss. I cannot see you. I recognize your odor. Cutscene doesn't have my mask on. Blasphemy. You are back. <laughs> it must be you who took that Kasaya. That's a Kasaya. And you have disciples. Idiot. Oddly, you feel easier than your purple counterpart. Yeah. 
you still suffer from the same annoying thing of having a million attacks in a row. Nothing. I hate you. I guess because he's going into a doom mode? Am I supposed to hit him? Or like keep his disciples away? Finding this lame, personally. I sure do love a uh, not explained. Oh, and he's healing. And they're just spawning from anywhere. I. Oh boy. you heal because bad design is fun not enjoy this boss archetype that can heal. And then when he has suicide allies, he still can attack, drawing my attention away from him. Somehow that didn't hit. It's just, again, if only there was actual design to the attacks to tell you, oh, you can dodge that. It's just... And of course, why do they have him? Heal, too. It's just a big old bunch of bother. Like, sure, there is a little bit of interestingness to being able to, like, oh, smash his minions before they get to him and heal, but it just isn't designed in a, like, well way. I was in midair, doing my combo. Take all this damage. God, this pain. Oh, 
boy. And you just continue your attack spree. Sure, fun. Oh. Already doing this. Where are your minions? Where can they spawn from? because these guys heal way too much for him. And there's so many of them, too. And they... Sp oh, they should have an obvious spawn point so I can actually stop them. I think it's physically impossible to stop them all. supposed to use the freeze to land the two focus thing maybe god damn you Of course, you wind up right when I go to do my combo ender. There we go. Temple of Taint. Couldn't read the Long, long text. Two hundred and seventy years spent. <laughs> Kasaya's collected by What is a Kasaya, I wonder? I just, I genuinely do not know. Still one short without his no. <laughs> no, no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> What about the White Noble? Just leave it. Did he not have a name? Stop the fire, or, like, did those guys burn that monk to stop him from collecting the Kasayas? I probably should have spent more attention to the Snake Guy's monologue before he died. Like, I don't know. It's just like weird. Everything's feeling weird. It's mostly like, I think. Still disturbing by this guy being hung right here. Fireproof mantle. Let everything else burn. I care nothing. For nothing but my master, give it to me quickly. The fireproof mantle. The great sage borrowed it from Virapaxa. How did it end up here? You must have freed that miserable soul. Oh, such is his end. Hmm, so... A tragedy prologued by a sick girl. It's getting late. Let's hurry up the mountain. So, like, was that... Like, wolf guy? That monk? No, it couldn't have been. Because each of the bells was defended by one of the Black Wind's, like, minions. There was the fire wolf. Then there was the poison snake man. Then there was the water snake man. 
And then his secret fourth ally, the fucking frame rate that decided to die. Jesus Christ. Like, it definitely felt interesting. It's just the fact that the base gameplay and the graphical glitches are like, like more like just like what's it? It's not literally glitches, but graphical bother gets in the way of things. Increases good dis uh, uh, defense. Uh, deals additional damage to enemy upon crashing their immobilization. Hmm, not bad. Costs my my silk though, and I need a full set. You ish. One crashing uh, enemy muscle reduces the cooldown for the immobilized spell. For good for spamming. And this is some cool armor, and it requires all the silk. Hmm. Interestingly, I can get the bronze arm guard and buskins for the two silk that I have, getting 11 defense when that was basically doing the same thing. So you know what? And plus that'll give me my immobilization crash damage. Cultivate spirits. I have yet to use any of you. And we can do the brew stuff from that there, too. It's, like, interesting because there are some bits that genuinely feel like, like good design. Like, this is all really, really good, but at the same time, that's probably because it's completely aping just everything. I'm trying to think. Where was that one guy? Was it at the Black Hills? I want to go back to the horse guy. Because he had a bell. Not as big as those other bells, but he had a bell behind him. And I want to check it out. I wonder if I could transform into the wolf in front of him. I think that'd be funny. Yeah, because he's right back there, I think. Yeah, there's just something off about the base gameplay, I think. Not in a horrible, horrible, terrible way, just like... It's kind of eh. And he's gone. Hmm, darn. But see, he has a bell. Like, there, he has a bell here. Again, probably not as big as the other bells that we rang, but I just think that's interesting. That we meant to ring, uh, ring bells. To apparently go and, like, I don't know. Because it said ancient temple. So either that was to put to rest a soul. Or stop, like, some secret man. From doing things. Again, I should have paid attention to the snake guy's monologue, but he was a slightly annoying boss fight that, in my opinion, just didn't feel satisfying to fight. Maybe it's a skill issue. Maybe there is genuinely some level of design badness. But for me, fighting the snake guy didn't feel satisfying because it didn't feel like ah I am dodging I am weaving and I am counterattacking it just felt like I was flailing around and somehow still making progress basically I think the overall design philosophy of this game wasn't tightly cultivated enough
again, like, some things that are genuinely good for the game feel like they were cartoned off as upgrades. When they should really just be base things, because they make the game feel good. Although, that, that that's a kind of thing, like, when should something that just makes the gameplay feel better be like an upgrade or just be something you give the player because it makes the game feel more fun. I guess we'll beat up this guy and then... What are you doing? Why'd you dive like that? Why are you being a weirdo? Get smacked, idiot. New Lesser Yao Guai. We entered a new area, the Black Wind Cave. Still don't know what to think of this game. I think that'll be it for now. We've been going for like four and a half hours. But just like... Something about the game feels off when it comes to the core gameplay. That on top of the fact that, like, the graphics feel poorly optimized, the benchmark test was almost just, like, false advertising to a degree because it did not at all, like, cultivate a, like real gameplay scenario strain. But yeah, there's just something off. It feels like the difficulty of the combat is all over the place. Because, like, the bull guy was, like, decent enough, I suppose. Kind of a tutorial mini-boss. Then there was the wolf guy who was pretty fun and nice. Kind of kicked my ass a bit and had, tele like, attacks that weren't all that telegraphed, but he wasn't super-duper kicking my ass through that. It still didn't feel great, but it wasn't terrible. Then there was the first monk guy, the purple man. Like, Scoob, I'm the man behind the slaughter. But, like... That one just felt terrible. He felt way too tanky, felt like he did too much damage, had, like, the... Continued on the tradition of having attack cycles that do not end. And, uh, also having bad telegraphing, so I don't know when in the attack to actually dodge, to dodge his attack and not just get sucker punched by his attacks. But after I beat him, then there was the big wolf guy in the Guangyin Temple. Who we beat in one go and hardly felt like a challenge. And then we move along. There's the poison snake guy. Not terrible. Still kind of suffering the, like, hard to dodge. Like, patterns are weird for this game thing. He killed us once and then we beat him. Then there was a the snake guy. I do not like the snake guy. Still better than the purple monk, but it's still... He felt the most egregious when it came to just non-stop attacking and making it feel like dodging and counterattacking had no real point. But I think that might be because the gameplay is trying to push the player towards a dodge, hit once or twice, dodge, and then continue your light combo from your dodge because you got the upgrade that allows you to do that. Which ties back into there are good parts of the gameplay that were cardened off as upgrades, which just sucks. So, like, I don't know. There's just something off about the gameplay 
my analysis might be off somewhere. Like in the specifics, in the weeds of me saying I think this is the issue. Could be wrong on any of that, but something is wrong with the gameplay. That just doesn't gel well. And again, the graphics are just not optimized well. Or this game is just really pushing for like, ooh, you have to have super duper graphics cards. Now that I've actually started playing the game, I'll probably mess around with the graphics settings more to find a balance of look decent but playable. But again, it just sucks that the benchmark tool was useless because it didn't do its job of telling the player this is the strain your game is going to be under, therefore these are the settings. Basically, oh, you set your settings to this, this is how the game will run in an actual gameplay scenario because it doesn't give you an actual gameplay scenario. It basically lies to you. So the benchmark tool is meaningless. And uh, story-wise, there hasn't really been much story because we only began the game. There was a big old story dump in the beginning, which doesn't make sense, at least from my vague understanding of the journey to the West. Monkey King is born, seeks immortality, runs into the royal court... They're afraid to fight him because they, he, they, he's pretty strong. So they invite him up as the, like, stable hand. And basically create a... Like, a, they give him a very low-ranking job. He goes around, like, causes trouble. Then learns that he has the lowest, like, station. Or, like, somewhere around there. Then he, like, goes to war with the Heavenly Court. They can't beat him. Buddha comes in, drops a mountain on him. And then, like, 500 years later, he goes on the journey to the west of Tripitaka. As basically the unwilling. Because the, like, Golden Lotus Goddess Lady gave Tripitaka... Or, like, somebody. Somebody gave Tripitaka... The crown, which when reciting a spell or prayer, causes it to shrink and not hurt. Well, I guess technically it hurts him, but doesn't damage Sung Wukong, but hurts him a lot, a lot. And this game seems to pick up at the, after the end of Journey to the West, which ended with, well, them going to taking the Holy Scripture of Buddha to the West. And, like, Sun Wukong finding enlightenment. And then, I guess, after finding enlightenment th through Buddha, he still wanted to live down with his monkeys. And the Heavenly Court is like, nah, fuck you. And then came in, summoned the Golden Crown on him again, and then killed him, I guess. And now he is in an egg again. And now monkeys just go to try and find these six receptacles to bring the Monkey King back when it is basically implied that the monkey we're playing as is the Monkey King reincarnated or something. I don't know. And there just it hasn't felt like there's been much story since then. But at the same time, that's kind of part of the Journey to the West-ishness. Like, we're on a mountain... And basically every part of the adventure of Journey to the West is, here is a mountain and a problem with the mountain. And, like, the guy whose shrines we're putting incense in, he is the mountain, like, spirit god. And the reason that he's kind of weak is because, like, the temple was burned, the monks apparently went bad, became demons... And are just doing shit, I guess. Not fully following, because I don't know what a Kaya or whatever is that the one big golden monk guy was rambling about. Don't know about, like, the fireproof cloak thing that that one hanged wolf guy had. 
Like, maybe he was... Like, I don't know. Because if these monster guys are the monks, then maybe that wolf guy was the monk in the ancient Guangyin temple? Or something? I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, we not much on the story. Gameplay... It's just like, I still don't really know. It could just be I'm not gelling with the gameplay versus the gameplay is bad. But this is obviously a Souls-like. This has the bonfires that you rest at, resets the enemies. It, do it isn't a full Souls-like because instead of gathering souls to power yourself up, you gather will to buy things. And, like, I wonder, can we even buy silk? I jumped at the shrine and the frame rate decided to die. Magical, isn't it? Because I can buy yarn. Doesn't look like I can buy silk. Which I guess makes sense. It's meant to be rare. But, yeah. Overall, I do not know what to think of this game overall. It's kind of janky. Like, dodging attacks doesn't... Like, I think the gameplay would be good if it is trying to push the player to dodge attack, uh, do your light attack combo, and just keep dodging and do the light attack in a perpetual cycle. So you kind of feel like a badass. You dodge attacks, and you hit more attacks, and you dodge attacks, and you continue your combo to stagger the enemy to get more combo. That would be cool. Except you can't really do that because no attacks are telegraphed, like, at all. Sure, animations happen, and you can learn the animations and go, Oh, I dodge, but they aren't intuitive. They don't feel like, oh... I can look at that animation and know one, two, or even three times through that animation and know when I have to dodge to get a good dodge. And from there, it's just technical skill. That's not what it feels like. The animations feel wonky on when I'm meant to dodge from them. They lack that kind of give to the player. I think I'm kind of, like, getting, like, the dodge feel down a little bit. Not super, super. It's hard to tell because when the animations on the attacks from bosses are kind of hard to parse on when I should dodge, it's hard to gauge how good I feel about my skills with dodging in general. It's kind of like I can't count my eggs if I don't have any chickens. And the attack animations are the chickens and the dodges are the eggs. And that analogy is insipid. One second. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Overall, this feels like a middling Souls-like, but without stats, really. Or rather, like, I can understand now why people call this a Souls-like with God of War PlayStation 4 trappings. Because instead of raising your stats, you get new equipment which raise your stats. But this is still, like, core Souls-like gameplay loop. But with, uh, equipment rather than souls, I guess. And, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I would much rather play Neo. Like, I would much rather play Neo. I would much rather... Well, it's kind of funny. Because I think I suck more at Neo, but Neo is more gratifying to play. Same thing with Sekiro. I would much rather be playing Sekiro than this. It's not the same game play because, like, the core combat is much more on blocking and deflecting and parrying rather than uh, this. This definitely has its own identity when it comes to combat, 
but how it executes that identity just makes me want to play other souls likes i can't really comment on the graphics because i had to turn the graphics down because the graphics are unoptimized as shit and uh, just do no, or like are targeting higher end hardware hardware when i still think my computer is okay it should be a middling of the road gameplay thing but who knows dlss is on by default and super sampling be -be -de -be. i can't just have my full resolution they have to throw resolution scaling all over the place <laughs> But yeah, there's like a lot of little problems just like stack up on top of each other. And I definitely feel like combat difficulty will be dictated by how intuitive it is to dodge enemy animations. Rather than anything, like, I don't know. It's like, normally when you say that, it's like, oh yeah, like, attacks that are har harder to dodge will be harder to dodge. No, duh. But it just feels like the way they're harder to dodge isn't intentional. It doesn't feel like, oh, my mechanical dodge skill isn't up to snuff. Like, I'm not... S it's not like I feel like I'm not seeing the attacks coming. And not executing on the dodge when I know I should. It just feels like flailing around is what it feels like. And not really engaging with the... Like, uh... The combat to some degree. It just it feels off to me. It doesn't gel with me. And... With how many games I've played, and the fact that I've beaten similar games like this and didn't have a problem like Sekiro, Dark Souls. Technically, I didn't beat the original Dark Souls because I stopped it, like, right at the end. But, oh, meh. But, yeah, I beat Sekiro, like, a bunch of, like, I'm fairly certain most, if not all, of the bosses. Except for the H Demon of Hatred, I, I cheesed. The Demon of Hatred, because that is a Dark Souls boss in Sekiro. And, uh, kind of in a similar vein, couldn't come to grips with, like, fighting it. Similar to these things in this game. But I don't know. Overall, I feel like there's the makings of a pretty decent game. I feel like they should have focused more on the core gameplay flow and then refined things around that gameplay flow because it does feel very awkward in certain situations it feels kind of clunky in places kind of weird in places and i feel like it could be better because like, it could still be a skill issue. It could still be me sucking. But it feels like it's the game's design not being up to snuff in certain places. With attacks not really being telegraphed. And animations, like, yeah, animations feeding into that. The attack animations make it hard for me to go, when do I dodge? Rather than, oh, I failed to dodge something when I know I should, kind of thing. Like, I don't know. And again, one thing that is a bit weird is it feels like the... Like, uh, blah, blah, blah. The flow of the gameplay is kind of guarded by upgrades a lot more than most other games. Like the gameplay feels a ton better when certain little quality of life upgrades get added. And it's just like, would have been nice if that was in from the beginning. From a gameplay feel perspective. And still like, sure, have other parts that are like, oh, this adds more, like, 
skill expression. This adds more damage or makes things easier. But then when it's like, oh, I can dodge but keep my combo, that feels like that should just be in the game rather than an upgrade. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, I might stream this again, but I'll definitely go back to playing more Breath of the Wild on Saturday. Because I do believe that that will be it for now. Because we've been going for a bit, and this game feels wonky and weird to me. Feels wonky and weird. <laughs> like, if you want to play a third-person action like game with parries and dodges, I would unironically suggest Zenless Zone Zero over this. Because at least when I dodge something in Zenless Zone Zero, or if I fail to dodge something in Zenless Zone Zero, it makes sense to me why I did or didn't game. Not to mention there were like three times in this game where it felt like I got hit from nothing. And that just sucks. <laughs> so yeah, from my initial four, uh, like almost five hours of gameplay, because I don't know if it's skill issue, I don't know if it gets better, I am tentatif tentatively giving it a six and, six and a half out of ten. I can't bring myself to give it a 7. 7 feels too good for this game right now. It could be that it gets better, which still means that it has early game hell, which is bad. I still don't understand why they put the purple monk guy that early on. Like, he felt like a huge difficulty jump and did not feel like a tree sentinel. It did not feel like an asylum demon. It did not feel like a boss that the game was telling you to go around when technically it was, in a way, because I didn't have the ability to take his, like, spirit fit power yet, which almost tells me they wanted you to move along, get more, like, armor, maybe even get this damage staff, and then go back and fight him. But who knows? I managed to beat him, but it didn't feel super duper satisfying as it should have been. Because I am all, like, I would like to imagine that I can roughly tell, like, if I'm the problem when it comes to a boss. But with video games being an interactive medium, like, it could be, like, multiple things kind of inform that. Like, maybe I suck at certain parts of a boss, but the boss has issues in other areas. But who knows? Just, like, it's very clunky, very weird. I'm not too sure what to think of it. I think if they simplified things, like... My broad strokes, like, wish list changes to this game would be just add dodge flares. Like in Zenless Zone Zero from Hoyoverse, they have flashes telling you this attack is about to go off right now. So you can see, like, the wind-up animation... And then the flash happens, and you know, ah, need to do that. And even then, like, there's a boss in Zenless Zone Zero where, like, uh, there's a boss that has a few attacks that don't have the hit fl or, like, the about-to-attack flare, which is a little annoying, but not too terribly bad. But it's just, like, there needs to be something to better aid the player in reading the movement of bosses. Because some of the animations are weird. Like, again, the purple monk guy kind of has that cyberpunk melee I am going to slide at you. Where he speeds up more than his animation informs. And it kind of messes with my brain on that. And it's just like, again, the animations and the telegraphing of attacks for dodging, I think, are the main pain point for me. 
as well as the fact that other factors make the gameplay not feel good. It doesn't feel satisfying to dodge against bosses when it doesn't feel like you're really rewarded for it beyond, oh, you didn't get hit, which I guess technically is the reward for dodging. But when, it, when the enemies have such oppressive attack patterns... I really feel like the player should be rewarded with getting a few more hits off. Because again, it does feel like the game is encouraging dodge, do your attacks, dodge, continue your combo, dodge, finish your combo kind of gameplay. And again, I, even though I kind of understand why it is, hitting the, atta the heavy attack button and having it be so delayed feels like a crime. I understand why to a degree because they don't want you spamming it. They don't want you to just be able to throw it out. It is the heavy attack. It does a lot of damage when it's focused, but it feels bad to throw out. Personally, I think the charging to try and force the focus should be why it's slow, but if I combo and then throw out my heavy attack... I feel like I should be rewarded for saving my focus and using it with my heavy attack manually. But I guess technically that's what, oh, I'm going to freeze you and then hit you is kind of about, but I don't know. it. I don't know. It's just like certain design decisions don't feel good in this game. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they feel bad to me. The boss... The, it's honestly kind of sad where I would kind of take more, like, small enemies than bosses. Because, at least small enemies, it feels satisfying to beat them and fight them. Because they're not trying to utter utterly annihilate me. Bosses don't feel as satisfying to fight. Because it doesn't feel like I'm figuring out their patterns. It feels like I'm flailing around. It doesn't feel like I'm getting better at fighting them, it feels like I'm getting lucky. That's what it feels like. And who knows, maybe I am just getting lucky, but the fact that it's feeling like that just kind of feels eh. So again, right now, six and a half out of ten, five hours in, because the core gameplay doesn't feel as rewarding as it should be, Dodging doesn't feel rewarding, and enemy boss ba attack patterns feel fast, oppressive, and unrewarding to dodge. I think that's roughly it. And otherwise, go play Sekiro. It's better than this. It has a better opening. It has stealth. I still don't understand what that golden cicada moment was. Like, was I supposed to use the golden cicada transformation to get by the monk instead? Because the mountain spirit just comes out and says, Oh no, it's dangerous. I'll transform you into a golden cicada this one time. And then I couldn't fucking see shit because the graphics got... I had to lower the graphics so I couldn't see anything with the, like, ambient occlusion or whatever in the transformation. And, like, it kind of felt like a waste because it... I, was there anything to do with the Golden Cicada? Do you get anything if you go to a certain place? I don't know. It just happens. And there's no real point to do it. Like, maybe I can get a transformation for the Golden Cicada manually later on? I don't know. But, I don't know. I don't know. This game is a mixed bag. I will definitely say, not worth $60. Wait until it's on sale. That's what I'll say. It's not bad. It, well, it's not terrible. It has bad parts, it's still kind of fun where it matters in few places. But this is definitely a get-on-sale game. And, uh... Wait until there's more robust, like... 
analysis on its graphics, like, uh, performance. So you actually know if you can run this good. Because the, 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 the benchmark tool is false advertisement. It does not throw you into a proper gameplay environment as far as I can tell that, like, oh, you play the game and this is how it stresses your computer, it just, it, like, shows you the graphics. And even then, I, I almost want to say that the benchmark tool might be more, like, what's the word? More, blah, 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 optimized? Because I swear, this runs so much worse than the benchmark tool did. I don't know why. It's still a cool idea, the overall game. Being able to transform, upgrading your... Or, like, not upgrading, really, but, like, uh, getting new gear. The bosses do look cool. I just wish that it felt cool to fight them. That the combat was better tuned to be intuitive to dodge and attack when their attack animations of bosses don't feel intuitive. Some attacks feel like they lock on more, which further, like, uh, damage the fun value because you try to dodge because you see the attack coming, but you don't know exactly when the animation is going to... It almost feels like the hitboxes for the attacks come out before the animations to a degree. Probably because there's no real lenience. They're, they don't really overly telegraph or, like, delay the hitboxes so there's a bit of, like, mercy. It almost feels like the attack animations and the hitboxes are one-to-one. -one, and so it is highly dependent on the animations themselves that dictate boss difficulty. But it's still utterly baffling to me that, like, the bull boss killed me once. The flame wolf guy killed me once. Monk man annihilated me whole entirely. And then I got to, like, the wolf-like boss that was crawling around. I beat him first try. The frog in the bog. Beat him first try. It's just biggledy, 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 bear. But I'm rambling. Once again, overall thoughts. This is a 6.5 out of 10, 5 hours in. Some things in the upgrade trees feel like they are a core part of the game, quality of life-wise. So, like, like maybe the be able to... Re like, I'm not sure how the respec works. I haven't used it yet. Maybe it is totally free. But um, I've yet to use the respec. So maybe they expect you to respec a lot, and maybe even respec for specific fights. But they haven't really impressed that upon me, so I'm not sure. If they want the player to respec for, for each fighting, maybe if they die twice to a boss, have the mountain god spirit say, Maybe you should change up your sparks. Use my shrine to change what abilities you can use in that harsh fight, young disciple. Or something. It's just like, there's something. There's something wrong with the game beyond the graphics optimization. And like, I don't know. Again, the opening of the game feels more like it should be an Azura's Wrath. It should be more like God of War. It should be more like a power fantasy hack and slash. Rather than a dodge-like, reflex game, Dark Souls-like thing. I don't know. I don't know. The aesthetics are kind of nice, but we've only been in one area, this mountain. The enemies are cool. The characters, like have a decent variety to them. We've only seen, like, one human. If even his human. He might have been a spirit. He might have been a god. I don't know. But the animal characters are pretty cool. There seems to be a limited amount of, like, oh, I see you dialogue from them, but who knows? Like, I'll probably continue playing this. Might 
slot this in to stream and see where it goes, depending on the quality of things. Because, again, the OBS preview, and from what I saw, my Twitch TV preview stream did not have good quality in terms of frames per second, so maybe this is just a game I should play in my own time. It depends on if the, like, bub bub bub, the recording comes out good. But we'll see, we'll see. We will see, we will see. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next time, we'll be continuing Breath of the Wild because that is a certified banger and it is nice to me. If you want other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, with direct links in the various like descriptions, bios, and link places of the sites, holds everything that I do. Links to my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel, streaming Twitch, depending on your preference. With all these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact along with uh, links to sites that I upload art to, like my little character in the corner and my various ins, uh, inslates art. And then uh, some sites that I upload my writing to, because writing is fun. And finally, a link to my Patreon, which is a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye. <laughs>